Hey, want to hang out with us? Want to see if I really smell as bad as they say? I don't. Come to Kind of Funny Live 3. Get your tickets at Kind of Funny Live... No. Kind of Funny.com, KFL3. Ah! There's a slash there. You know where it goes. You're not dumb. You know who I love? My mom. You know what my mom loves? Flowers. Mother's Day is right around the corner, so let old gruesome Greggy help you out. Visit our advertiser, proflowers.com, right now and get your mom some flowers, 100 blooms for $19.99, actually. Now, don't do that thing I've done before where you put it off. Mother's Day will be here before you know it, and you know what you're going to do if you don't do it right now? You're going to screw it up. How do I know it? I've screwed it up before. You say to yourself, oh, Mother's Day's coming up. I should do I'll do it later. And then, bam, Mother's Day is there, and you're holding a cheese pizza, and you start crying, and you ring the cheese pizza, and you're like, why I ruined the pizza, and I ruined Mother's Day when I could have just listened to Greg Miller back in the day. And you say, I am Greg Miller. Don't live this nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. Go to proflowers.com right now. You can get these blooms. 100 of them, four, $19.99, free glass vase as well. All you have to do is do it, click on the microphone, use the code Greggy, proflowers.com, code Greggy. Don't ruin your cheese pizza and Mother's Day because you will never forgive yourself or your mother. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Gavin, I'd like to apologize for the wife comment earlier. It's, okay. it's, uh, it's disparaging. She'd I, like you. Nick, of course, talking. I'd like her, too. To star of stage and screen, Gavin Hammond. What? Screen. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Hello. You're on this. You're on a screen right now. Everybody, True. Everybody sees screen. You, the course. one screen. Yeah, mm-hmm. there it is. Yeah, don't, don't get caught up looking at it. Don't drown in the pool. Don't look at your own reflection. Drown in the pool. Gavin, of course, voice actor to the stars. You've done a million different things. I have voice matched some stars. Okay. Well, but <gasps> I'm not ones? talking it down. Which ones? Which ones do you do? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, you're not allowed to say. I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. Say. You, oh, of course, know Gavin as Kenny in The yeah. Walking Dead. You know me as Kenny in The Walking Dead. Uh, Fuck! More importantly, you know we, him. We can swear on this show. Of, co- right? fucking, oh, yeah. of course you can. Are you kidding me? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, you deserve it. Kevin that. says the C word a lot. And then... Yeah, Capricious. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's, yeah. It's a tough one. Copernicus. But more importantly, you're Furby. That's true. I'm also the voice of Furby in too many countries. Give me some Furb. Um, ooh, well, Greg, depends on what you want me to say to you about oh, different really things. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. Oh, well, I can be yeah. creepy if you want it to be. Do, do, do. Should I stop? I'll yeah, stop. you should probably stop right there. The pure one, Tim Gettys. Let's him host. I also enjoy that wives just love Nick. All, uh, all wives. He's a pretty all lovable dude. Love Nick. My wife uh, likes me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. More often than except not these one. days. All wives except for one. <laughs> except for the one that chose to actually be with me. Wives who don't have to live with Nick. I look love good on Nick. paper. That's how it goes. And rounding out our fivesome today. Mm-hmm. A packed house. Ming Chen. Yay! How are you, Ming? What's up, everybody? Not much. I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm the only guy uh, at this... This podcast uh, that cannot grow facial hair. No, so no, not. no, I can't do it well either. Really? That's why I don't oh, do it. You can't. Yeah. Just choose not I just, yeah, it does the stubble really well, and then it goes nowhere. You get patchy? No, not even patchy. It just doesn't grow, like, it doesn't grow outward the it's way I should. In. Yeah, it's growing inward. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the ingrown hair. It hairs. does change him. It, from the inside out, you start to turn on to this character that I'm not happy it's with. It's like Bizarre Greg. It is. Well, it's just, usually yeah. when you see me unshaven, it means I didn't shower, I was running late or right. something like that. So I'm not in a good place already, usually mm. hungover. Mm. Yeah, maybe Man, so I don't drunk. like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm just jealous. You guys look manly, especially with that, even with the Furby voice coming out of your mouth, you still look manly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ming, of course, we know you from AMC's Comic Book Men. Yes. And the Kind of Funny Morning Show, more importantly. Right, I yeah. love that. Last week. You, you came for the morning show, you stayed for the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I love I guess, that. I guess you guys must like me. Or no, yeah, it's perfect. Then there's pie after, right? There's pie. There's pie. We're going to take it out back steakhouse, yeah. all right? Don't that be pushing good. it. There is a crazy cheesecake place next door. Is there? How, have you tried that place nope. yet? Nope. Everybody no. talks about it, though. We never, never go. It's only open at random hours. It's fantastic, but it's only open at the most random of times. They are on spring break, I think, right now. They're always on something. There's some weird Good for them. Good for them. Who doesn't love cheesecake? I don't know. I don't. Trust I don't want them, to know though. that person. My wife uh, is a huge. My wife and I, I should say, are huge fans of the Golden Girls. Maybe you've heard of that show. Maybe. And she wants. She'd like to live out her senior years, um, just like one of those four women. We're living with her friends, eating cheesecake at night, uh, wearing those, the caftans, the big long like just billowy outfits that you don't have to care what you so look. So she at. wants you to be dead. And she's that's, just banging people. That's the unfortunate aspect of yeah. this. But I want you know any good husband wants to give their wife whatever they want. So at some point I have to die probably before I'm sixty, so she can live out this fantasy of hers in, in Miami or wherever. She's gonna they were, kill it. Florida. She's gonna be really good at it. I think she'd be great. She'd make a great Dorothy. My yeah. wife is Dorothy. Mm. My wife is very much like she's tall. 
She doesn't really like a lot of things. She's perfect. <laughs> perfect for that. Likes cheesecake. Though. She likes you sometimes. She does sometimes. like more often than not. Is how I like to put it. And you know, you guys have been married for a while. Yeah. That's that's good. Oh yeah. That's a good track record. Oh, if yeah, your wife yeah, likes you, you can stay die. above fifty percent. Oh, you're, you're gold. Yeah, golden for sure. Girls. That's like batting five hundred. Yeah. Literally. I'm, I'm it is. Now here's the good. thing, Gavin. Yes, Greg. Earlier, oh, was we were getting ready for this podcast. Oh, you were complimented on being so tan. Yes, and I then was. you said, "You actually, it's an embarrassing story for your family." So I assume this is part yeah, of the fifty percent. Your wife's not happy. With I you. have no shame. Well, how do you, how do you get so tan? No, Please they, tell they, me you tan naked in the back. They shake their heads at, at the reason. But so what I do is, and this is true, is I drive around without a shirt on. So <laughs> I drive. Are we talking? Do you wear undershirt though? Like, oh fuck no! No, just pure. No, yeah, yeah. I just peel man. it all off, and so and I'm a drummer you, too. So you, I'm also I've got the windows down, sunroof open, and I got a drumstick on my. Oh, do you, you know, keep? Do you, are you that old school drummer that keeps sticks in your car? Fuck yeah! There's two of them oh right now. Oh my god, I love it! So I'm just I sitting love there. It. I'm driving up the five. It's hot. All the windows are down. I'm blaring Motley Crue or yeah, Iron Maiden are. or something the and crew. just beating on the steering wheel. Yeah, we bonded. Yeah, if my wheel. wife was driving by, she would just like, oh, she would turn away. So they're not in the car with you when this is happening? No. Okay. I've yet to actually bust that out. Usually because she drives. And you don't uh, want to be like the passenger without a shirt on. Yeah, yeah, now that's like, just weird. And then it's like the hobo. <laughs> We just found this some guy Taylor Swift. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He seemed hungry and lost. Yeah. You, um, you ever been pulled over shirtless? No, I don't get. I don't. I don't drive that fast. Okay. I don't get pulled over. But you are. I also, imagine. you are one of the 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 few, the proud, the Prius C owners. I am a Prius C owner. So oh, you, wow. you're cruising shirtless, I'm driving drumming in a Prius C. In a fucking piece of shit. I love it. I fucking <laughs> love, I love it. it. But dude, I'm getting like 50 miles to the gallon. Yeah, that's so metal. And when I fill up, it costs like 18 bucks. Wow. Are you barefoot? Uh, no, I usually have shoes on. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to visualize everything that's happening. Driving no, man, barefoot is a no go. I don't trust people. Sometimes to do if that. the sun's beating down just right, you hike the shorts up a little bit. Oh, yeah, to make yeah. sure you get the legs. Yeah, you do. Yeah, okay, so I got okay. some. I got some good calves, so I want to make sure, sure that you know I get those in there too. You do have good calves. I was talking about earlier. Uh, I boogie board. Okay, okay. You just I, live in the dream, my friend. I guess so. <laughs> that's the thing is, that, like, if, if Gavin stumbled up to you, right, shirtless, <laughs> drumming, you'd be like, "Oh man, here's 15 <laughs> cents." What happened <laughs> to this guy? <laughs> we all, no, no, it's good, dude. Down on his luck, but then he just goes and does and a million I pull video out games. My wad of cash. Yeah. yeah well, all right. So it's folded in. I guess. If you didn't know, this is the Game Over Greggy show each and every week. Four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. You have one more shot at it at the Thank end you. of the show. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're new here. We don't. Yeah, we don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm not new, but we didn't do that last sure. time. Sure. Well, no, this is Gavin's first appearance on a Game Over Greggy show. This is true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you like that, you can head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny, toss us a couple bucks, and get each and every episode early along with a bunch of bonus episodes, exclusive perks, and goodies. Isn't that right, Nick? With his 76th yeah. sugar-free Red Bull of the Dude, week. Dude, uh, past me fucking kicked ass because I was like, I wonder if I would need to drink in the fridge. And I looked and I was like, past me got a bunch of sugar-free Red Bulls. Nice job. Thanks, past now, me. Now, when you say past me, do you mean Kevin? You ordered Kevin to go get those? I meant Cool Greg was hanging out with us for one of the barbecues. Oh, barbecue and I was like, hey, man, if you're going to get drinks, can you get me a bunch of these? Actually, no. Lauren wanted these. Lauren Lanning. Yeah, when he was here. And he he and I always bond because I'm always like, hey man, do you want something to drink like coffee or water? He's like, got any sugar-free Red Bulls? I was like, yeah. You know how he does it? He's like, yeah. hey man. You got any sugar-free bubbles? Yeah. Like I was like, I, can, I got a guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. He's, we mainline this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were on Lucky Number 3 before we started the podcast, and I was like, can't hold my mic. I was on a on a tour in... Uh, Damn. Kevin. Wow. Rendering something out there, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was on a tour in Europe. We were on the Warp Tour of this band that I was in. And that's what the fuck? Would, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so we, let me, let's style it back. We're going to rewind a little bit. We're okay, in the car sorry. ride. It's us and Andy. We're coming back from one Outback Steakhouse, and I, and I do the ACDC test where I'm like, I'm just going to put on ACDC and see how the entire car reacts very positively. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you go you into this story. For those about to rock. Yeah, it's 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 the anthem um, of Game Over Great. You were like, hey, no big deal, but I was in a fairly popular band, and I used to turn and just pick it up from there. I believe so, I said it a whole lot less douchey than that, but that's cool. Well, Hold on, fair, time just out. Was his shirt it, on? I don't know. He was in the <laughs> back seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It back. may have been like half off. Well, the like, were yeah, a little bit. Cool I was peeling. Um, yeah, so I was in a band in the 1990s. Um, but before I had this real job. Of yeah, being you're, a voice you're an adult actor, now. I had a real job of being in a band. What band? Um, it was called Dance Hall Crashers. Okay. Ska band. Um, we, How many we trumpets made were records. in it? Oh, so trumpets. We had at one point in the late 80s. I think we had two. At, at the most, one mm -hmm. uh, a guy Jeremy Goody who's still awesome and has a studio in Piedmont, 
um, still friends with. But over time, we lost the horns, and we were more of just like a punk ska band because mm. we mm. had two female singers and guitars, and we felt that there was enough melody going without horns. Oh, okay, good. But, uh, okay. Plus, okay. like ska shows back in the 80s, especially late 80s, it was like skinhead city. So it would be like periodically every show they would sort of assemble in the in the mosh pit and like do their weird whatever sort of chant song kind of thing they would mm -hmm. do. Okay. And there was some crazy like some of those shows were riots and windows Jesus. broken. It was I pretty unfamiliar. silly. So we were more, you know, comfortable doing punk rock shows. Sure. But yeah, no, I was in a band and we Wait, played you're saying ska shows were more hardcore than punk rock shows? Oh yeah. Because really like much higher. I, ska to me was, was always that. the kind of like Yo, we're, we're in Johnny Tsunami. You know, we, we serve. Oh, no, this was like the second wave stuff. So it was, you know, tail end of that into like uh, Toasters, um, where, where did Bad Man Real Big Fish come in? Yeah. Real Big Fish would be third wave like Dancehall Crashers was. And we played a ton with Real Big Fish and No Doubt. And, um, Do you ever, you ever play with uh, Catch-22? Yeah. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Um, and we played with, you know, Mephiscopheles and this, you know, all the different ones. That, that sounds like some kind of there was a ska puns. My buddy was in a band. Uh, played with him in, in Trenton. Band. Trenton, New Jersey. Hey, New Jersey. Hey, New Jersey. Lovely Woo. Trenton, New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey represent. Thank you. Was that like, with the Skeletons? Was that a big band? Yeah. Remember them? Yeah. I think they were them, really cool, too. There was them. And then there's, my buddy was in a band called the Debonairs, uh, all throughout like late 90s, early 2000s. So they were kind of, they kind of would play with those guys a little bit here and there, but yeah, no, we never really got into shows it. With them. We played with Sublime uh, quite a lot what? Um, back in the day. Yeah. But no, like, so we used to show, we would do shows with Sublime where like they would open or we would open, you know, for us back we and just forth. just coins. Yeah, sometimes, depending on where we were. Like if we were in a certain city, you know. It's my turf. Sort of, I guess. Or whoever had the bigger draw. But, you know, we it's the same thing with No Doubt. You know, we did shows with them and stuff. So they were the ones that really kind of exploded. And then the sad thing about Sublime is they really didn't explode until after Good Bradley enough, yeah. passed. Yeah. Mm. And that record that they were working on, that they were kind of working on and working on and working on, he passed away, and they were kind of still tweaking and tweaking and kept sending it back to the label, and then it came out because that was going to be it. But fantastic band and fantastic record. Yeah, that was, record, Sublime. But that was I was more of a 40-ounce to Freedom guy myself. But, mm. but Okay, yeah. we were going somewhere. You were, you were on the Warp Tour. And oh, Red Bull. So I was on the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Full circle. Oh, on the work tour, they would back. just bring you these flats of Red Bull. Fuck yeah, and this was. was in like in Europe. Which Nothing says Warped Tour more than Red Bull. <laughs> I know. It might have had the taurine in it, you know? So it'd be, oh, you know, like, it'd be God. like hash and Red Bull. Would yeah, it would. Kind of like the thing. I didn't Walking know that was even a thing. Lowlands, you know, festivals with. See him through time. You know, watching Beck from the stage or something like that. Nice. You know, oh, Cologne, I've lived a life. I've lived a life. Yeah. I can die now, because, so, I guess. If you got no bucks to toss, you can get it topic by topic, day by day, over on YouTube.com slash kindoffunny until the following Friday when we post the entire thing as one big video and one big MP3. So, now, Greg, I don't ask you a lot of questions because sure. I pretty much know you at this Because you know my skills. Oh, hard punch. Have sweet. you ever just seen the timer and been like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not doing the rest of the spiel? No. It's part of the shit. Keep it going. Like, go you, you, you podcast a lot. Yes, I do. You podcast professionally, like these two clowns. You understand that what the audience likes. What the fuck what just happened? happened? I don't do? know. That's really weird. <laughs> Anyways, you, what the Bastards. what the audience likes <laughs> is the pomp and circumstance. Oh, they of like course. the rhythm. Catch they get phrases. mad when you forget the pound on the table. They get mad. I don't want to ever screw somebody over. So I want to make sure they know that oh, I'm yeah. there with them. Yeah. I'm keeping this ship shit. on course. Mm. And I, the course, hell. We're going highway. on a highway to hell. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, topic number one okay. revolves around both of our guests. Ooh. We were at the lovely Outback That's Steakhouse. Mm. Ming, what did you have? I had uh, a sirloin steak, which I kind of regretted. Little, little grisly. Little grisly. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Did I should've lead you astray? Should have went with the filet and uh, should have added the filet lobster tails because you guys paid for it. Yeah, so. that would have yeah. been. Yeah. 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 We forgot to, we we to yeah. mention that at the beginning oh, of the meal. You guys paid for it. Thank yeah. you very much. You guys paid for it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I should have went with a more tender cut. While we were there, Gavin, who's lived a life, broke out photos of his studio. Oh, yeah. Where your drum kit is and where now your VO booth is. Yeah. And it's wall-to-wall -wall action figures and toys and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of toys. And then, of course, your whole show and life revolves around nerddom and toys and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. As does ours, as you can tell by the set and everything else, and Nick's previous topics on G.I. Joe's and stuff. Love it. So we want to start there okay, for this good. topic of talking about Gavin's collection, to which he will send Kevin photos, I'm sure. We have to send, you have to send Kevin's photos. You email them. 
to me now. You want them? All right. you, oh, you can I put can them up right now. Right now, yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. good yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We're, okay. we're, we're so fancy. technologically we're so advanced. Great. Yeah, we're we're not, not quite we quite don't know pre-production. Yeah, we're not quite advanced enough we, to actually have prepped this before. We don't know the pre-production part of the show, but on the show we can easily <laughs> email stuff yeah. and do stuff like easily this. Easily done. We'll just so while, while you do that then, Gavin. No, I can I can do two things at once. I don't think you can. I don't. After all the Red Bull and hash you've had in your life, I don't know. It's a lot of both. <laughs> <laughs> I think this man's exhibited that he's multi-talented. Okay, so okay. I believe in him. I think so he could do it's kind this. of funny, Kevin. Yeah? Mm-hmm. No, no. Kevin, Kevin at, at kind of funny. There you go. Also, if you thought that was a giveaway, remember, control at roosterteeth.com. Oh, um, shout out to you doing that. Boy, they liked it just as much the second time as you did it the first time. <laughs> So, Gavin, walk me through this. So, the, yep. y- the problem is you're, you're too much. We like we tonight had a, a blooming onion. Yeah, it was delicious. It was loaded. No, no, no. We had a loaded blooming onion. Sure, I was yeah. gonna pass it, but there's that counts too. There was there's many layers to the loaded blooming onion. There's the bacon bits. Three. There's the cheese. There's the fries. There's the fried onion. Don't forget the batter. Right. So as you peel back all these layers, we find new things. We're already discovering so much about you on this episode, Gavin. I'm so sorry. You're, you're like a loaded blooming onion. You I are great. <laughs> you're our own little. That's the happiness. best compliment I've ever received. So when did you go from being kick-ass, crazy, ska, travel the world guy to married two kids, is it? Yeah, and, two kids. And a, a, a room full of action figures. Uh, well, it went, so the, the room full of action figures has always been a thing. Yeah. So, God, that's gorgeous. Kevin's going to throw that it up here beautiful. in a second. So that's half of the... Ri- that's obviously... Uh, hold on. Can, the audience can't see it yet, Gaff. And, no, then we'll, and I will... I'm just, describing a thing you can't see. I'll do, well, it's going to happen to happen to the MP3 listeners, too. It's a, well. Imagine heaven, and that's what's about to come on With the screen right now. With, With a, a drum, drum set. set. Yeah. Oh, no, now we're just looking at... I'm almost there. Kevin's going to do it good. He's going to bring it on the front one and the back wall. Im- important no, important yeah. notes. Different drum kit is in there now, Ooh. and it's in a different place. Okay, okay. It's more over to the that's, left. That's so what we're looking at is you're seeing anyway. all sorts of figures, all so sorts of toys. Happening. There's a lot of things happening. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. It's a lot to absorb. Is that a TIE fighter we hanging just from cut the wall? To, by the way, Kevin, we can always just cut the full screen, screen as well on this so people can see the full version yeah, of it. You know? There's a whole mess of TIE fighters in there. Really? Oh, yeah. You had them all mounted from the ceiling? Uh, I, yeah, I mount most of the ships and stuff and things that fly from the ceiling just okay. because it's easier. Fun. Okay. And so this has been going on your whole life, you say? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Oh my god! I can't see it. Oh, mm. I'll go like this. There's so many toys. See fine. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's a room full of toys, like we said. Yeah. So, like, that's it, a, it, a really what was amazing is when we, when you were talking about this, you were like, "Yeah, I just you, when you're you have two children." I do. And one just discovered that this room existed. <laughs> no, he was so he's twelve now, and I think he was about six. Right. When like, and this has existed like when we we bought the house in two thousand. And originally that was just like a band room. So that was like perforated metal and whatnot on the walls. And then once I stopped rehearsing, so in 2000, the band broke up and I was still playing, but not playing as much. And I was starting to do this and I needed a space that was quiet. And this was already like a pretty good start. So I just started finishing things. And I've always had a room in a house, whether we were renting it or someplace else, that had a bunch of shit in it like this. Of course. Um, So this just was a natural progression and it was a bigger space, and I just kind of did all the shelves and everything myself. All those weird little baffle things that have a bunch of stuff on them that are sticking out. Yeah. I made those. Those are on casters, and then they, they move around, and there's, you know. How I much money do you think is invested in here I in terms no of toys? Idea. You don't want to think about it. Are you, going, are you buying these mint on card and opening them? Are you buying them at garage sales? Uh, most of them I bought new, to be okay. honest, okay. Um, and I've had them. Um, just depends on what it is. If I'm do you still go to from, like, Toys R Us's and Targets? And- no, I usually just Amazon or Big Bad mm. Toy Store or something like that. It's easier because, I, I mean, as you can see, there's not a lot of space. Even yeah. like building the booth, which created a ton more mm-hmm. surface, there's not a lot of space. <laughs> Now, Ming, you look at this. I do. What, what's your first thought? I, I, like, I've changed my pants, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> this is right up your alley. Over. I'll feed you. I, I have to bring a change of clothes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, things like this. It, this, is, this, is, uh, this is what I dream of, a room like this. Um, I don't have a room like this. Uh, I mean, we have a store full of tours, so yeah, I, I was gonna be, say you kind of have a store. Yeah, full I can of be kind of happy with that. But I mean, I, I would love my yours. own my yeah. own room like this. So, about eighty well, percent of the stuff that's in the store is there, or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Everything that's there is in the store. Yeah. So, well done, my friend. Now, what Thank percentage you. of this is vintage versus, say, newer things? Ah, uh, so it's probably mostly fairly modern stuff. Um, there's obviously Shogun's down at the bottom. Yep. Um, above that are Simpsons figures, the Playmates. Above that are Action Fleet, which are like a Star Trek and Star Wars ships. And then Marvel Legends. The only thing that's really vintage Marvel there Legends. is at the bottom Ooh. with the, uh, yeah, 
the bottom with the Shogun Warriors, and then there's a superpowers shelf in there yes. oh, someplace too. Fuck yeah, right. I want to okay. see a superpowers. Wait, shelf. is this picture on Instagram at all? Can people okay, people are listening yeah, at home so right now? I can they go a, to your I have like a another account called Action Figure Soundproof. Because I, th- I call it action figure soundproof. And not soundproof. that I'm trying to write any of this stuff off and create some kind of crazy should. tax, you know. <laughs> I want people, people to be able to, people listening but to this, I want them to be able to go to action good. figure soundproof. Action figure on soundproof. Instagram. Yeah. yeah. And uh, attentive to that. This is a very impressive, albeit slightly psychotic collection of. Oh, yeah. No, it's creepy. Of, and what, what I usually. It's a creepy. When anybody's, if they're over at the house, they've never been in there. I always like, because it has a double door to the outside. So I open the, the outside door hmm. and then I say. You're going to learn something about me right now. And then just sort of slowly open the door with the mm-hmm. lights on. Do you think and it's creepier to have this Lock or like in. a sex dungeon? <laughs> uh, it depends on who Greg, you ask. Oh, okay. Greg, you just you just inhaled, but it's possibly because you have sinus I don't problems. think my wife would tolerate a sex dungeon, but she tolerates that. Okay. Understood. Understood. I think my wife would actually, yeah, it might be a toss up for my wife. She might be like, it's, they're both weird. Stop it. Yeah, I was and then say, I'd come home no, one day and she'd be like, it was all, um, all that stuff was old. So I threw it, it out. There's no yeah. world <laughs> where your bad. wife would tolerate this room. No, no, I don't well, think. No, she no, I don't mine think doesn't so, no. go in there. Yeah. But she, she'll come in and look around. That's, good, that's not a good looking face. You don't want to see that kind of face. Yeah. 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 Right. It's a bad Have you ever accidentally it. knocked one over and it dominoed and you well, hit no, the all No, they're all like museum putty down. So it's like, I bought I bought a bunch of museum putty for the set and I never used it. I live in California. So, you know. Yeah. If there's a bad Earthquakes. quake, I mean, it's all going. It's all going. So, the final. Yeah, right oh, on yeah. a fault line, my friends. Um, you didn't <laughs> yeah. put your stuff down. That's right. Do you so, have a? Do you have a favorite piece? Uh, I really like. So I've got a. We were talking about a little bit. Uh, Blade of the Immortal, Manji. He's the main character. He's mm-hmm. like a samurai that's gonna live forever until he kills a thousand guys. And uh, there's a twelve Tales inch figure. Oldest time. That's uh, yeah. I know, is, it, right? is it a manga or is that it old anime? cliche? Uh, yeah, it's actually both. I've okay. never seen. It, it, I think. I think I want to say Mika is making a movie out of it too. Oh. I saw something in it, which is not a movie I ever want to see because it's a fucked up book, but um, it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a manga that I read. Oh, know, cool! And it's I think it's like twenty eight or something graphic novels or you know trades. Mm-hmm. I hate graphic novels. The term why? Because it's a trade. It was released as an issue. Then yeah, it's that's released right. as that an is issue. a trade. A trade. Yeah, okay, no, I agree with that. Okay, but yeah, but it's great. And so I have a twelve inch Manji figure. That I love. That's the one. Oh, that Mega is the house. one. Oh, you were God. right about the swastika on the Kevin back. Kevin is so good. Yeah, you kind of. No, Kevin is almost not a there. I know because it's, it's, it's flipped tilted. around. There it's Manji. That's his go. name. But so yeah, I love that. I don't know why I love it. I just I love the book and I love the character. And it's That's cool. Yeah. Is there is there any line of figures that you're like I'm just not going to buy these? Oh yeah. No, I, I only buy something that I either like the source material or I think it's a cool toy. So there's tons of stuff that I wouldn't buy. Do you have any Transformers? Do you have oh, yeah. any Power Rangers? No, I don't have any Power Rangers. Unless the Power Ranger could be acceptably passed off as like a Shogun. Oh. Do you I have the, some of the bigger ones? Do you have any Robotech figurines? Yeah. Do you have the um ro- the Transformer that was a ripoff of the Verotech fighter? Yeah, fighter? yeah, yeah. Because I have that right there. Oh no, Jetfire. It's amazing. Yep. I've yeah. also got Jetfire, which is that one. <laughs> yeah. And then I've also got you know I don't know what's his name. Rick Hunters. Rick. Yeah. yeah. I've also got his his jet. Now I, I think the one that I've got was the Toy Nami reissue of it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have an original Takara one. Yeah, Those are crazy. He does. Yeah. Come on. But no, man. In this in this day and age, it's like even if you're a big like Micronauts guy, somebody has reissued all those toys mm-hmm. within the last 15 years. Yeah, see, I, it sucks because when I was a kid, actually, I don't know because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known, but I, th- I had whatever they were selling at the time in the mid '80s, yeah. which I have to assume was the original run of the toys in America. Yeah, but uh, my mom saw fit to dispose of those. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what she did. I think one of them broke, and she was like, "Well, that one's broke. Ah, they're all gone. You're in high school now. Stop playing with toys." Well, since I've got kids, I do the same thing. I'm like, "Oh, this lost an arm. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer in mint condition." See, that's, that's just one of those things you got as a kid. You just go along with the storyline. Like he lost sure. his arm in, in a war. Yeah, right. yeah. And he's just like you just got to keep going. Inevitably, everyone had there. Duke, uh, who only had half a body because the you know the Joe's oh, yeah. the, the rubber bands, super snap. rubber bands, man, yeah. that dried oh, out and snapped. Worst. Yeah, yeah. my awful. dad went through and he found actually rubber bands that were like the same size, like like O rings. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, but they were never uh, the same. They weren't, but he went through and tried to match all of my old GI Joes that had broken those together. Those you can take apart. You, you can. You can just screwdriver. You just don't screw them. And he um, he got about sixty percent of them right. God bless him. And the other sixty percent, like that is that is that is not right. Oh, that he, is, was that is, he was assembling top. Yeah, because 
I had a bunch of I had a, just a bunch of disembodied right. GI Joe figurines. So we would have like a top of a snow job with the bottom of like say Quick Kick. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. Get this monster out of here. So this good. abomination. And we did we did a topic on it um, when we first built the studio. My mom, um, not so subtly, my brother is in charge. Was the person who helped us put this together. He's a set, set designer. Um, and my mom called me up. She's like, Hey, your brother's bringing a truck up here f- with all the set. I'm going to put all your old toys on there. I'm tired. I don't want them in my garage anymore. You're a 37 year old man. You should be responsible for and this. And if memory serves right, she didn't tell Matt she was doing this. She sure didn't. She hit no. him on the truck. She went to my brother's uh, shop and bribed one of the people that he works with to put them on the truck. So the truck shows up, and I have five giant bins of all my old toys. Oh my god! And we went through them. It was actually a gog topic. People can see that if you if you didn't watch it. Um, but it was cool because I was going through, and it's it's amazing how you open it up, and you're like. Holy shit! I remember all of these. It takes like, you all the way it's back. It's right back, and like Colin, this is uh, back when Colin was with us, and Colin just looked at all the GI Joes and was like, "That's Serpentor. That's a Dreadnought. That's this. That's." And I was like, "How do you even remember all this stuff?" But it was really cool. And then of course, it was like Duke with Lady Jane's um, like bottom part, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. "That's that's wrong, but kind of right." Yeah, I don't know. I mean, no. It's 2017. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Um, so then, Gavin, what are you still hunting things? No, not really. I just I buy stuff that if it comes out. But um, you guys go to you guys are obviously convention like. I don't do very goers. many. Of them. I certainly don't do nearly as many as Ming. Um, do you pick up a lot of toys when you go to these things? Are you? Uh, I try not to. Inevitably, yeah, you, you pick up a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, I went to thirty four cons last year. Jesus so Christ! Right. Yeah. we think we go to too many. Yeah, cons. yeah. Jeez, that's Louise. a con. That's a lot of cons, man. Uh, I uh, have a problem saying no. So if I get invited somewhere, we already invited oh. you. Kind of funny, last three. So too bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess I'm coming on, yeah. uh, on June. That's June third, yep. correct? Yep. Yeah, June third. Yeah. Get yeah. your tickets now. Kindfunny.com slash kfl three. So then, Ming, you, your whole show is people bringing in things like Gavin's collection. Yep. What what stands out to you? What are the things you think of? Like you can't believe somebody's brought into the shop. Uh, usually stuff from our childhood yeah. that we haven't seen in a while. Um, th- those really stand out. There are things I haven't seen since I was six years old, and somebody will, will bring it in, and you you get that flat. The, all those memories come back, right? And um, you know you just can't believe it, uh, it that, that that is right in front of you again. And then you find out it costs like ten times as much as it did back in back in nineteen eighty. Uh, but you don't care. You want it. Well, it's the thing we were talking about on the morning show today. That's crazy. It's just the fact of I remember, like, with people who were smart enough to keep things mint on card from that era. Yeah. Because by the creeps. time, yeah, creeps. But by the time I matured into a creep, where I was like, oh, I want to make sure I the, the mistakes of the the past aren't really lived in the future. Where I was like, I'm gonna buy this entire run of Man of Steel toys. I better get two because yeah. somebody is at some point going to want steel. They're going to want steel, John Henry Irons. They're going to want this Superboy, this Eradicator. No. It turned out, no, they did not. But my dad (laughs) still has long boxes with all my unopened Man of Steel, Total Justice, JLA toys in there. He's still waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, it could turn in any second. He might put you through college someday. Maybe you need to have those shipped to these guys, and they can take it. They can pick through them and see what they want. No, I, trust me, it's not, not going to happen. Because no. I've, 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 I've been to I've been to San Diego when I walk the aisles and I see yeah. it, and it's that long hair like, man uh, of steel that or Superman that did like this, where his arms popped up, and it's up there for like a dollar fifty. And I'm like, mm. fuck. Well, yeah, but if you have I mean, four thousand of them, the stuff from the from the eighties <laughs> and the seventies and the sixties, it's worth money because people threw it out. Yeah, yeah no one knew yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. so I have this uh, Charles Barkley action figure from the hit movie Space Jam. Of course. Yes. Um, do people ever bring in random shit like that? Oh, yeah, all the like, time. All the no, time. why would you and, think? And, um, you know, the Charles Barkley, I would buy that. Okay, you know, well, from, it's one of my prized possessions, yeah. but... It, and it's on the card Make him an offer. Everything? Make him an offer. Oh, yeah. no, it's not means on card. It's, oh, it's, no, no, oh, it's open. I've, I've frozen this that. thing in a cup of water and had to be like kryptonite frozen. It's a whole thing. Charles Barkley? Chuck deserves it. Yeah, well I, well, I mean, come on. You know how it was. When you get your action figures and you're playing with them, you need to make up reasons they're all sure. doing things together. I right. understand them getting frozen. Or doing things with yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. that also makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I've said this before on the show, and it's probably the most racist thing ever, but I didn't mean go. it to Great. be racist when I was a little kid. But Charles Barkley was the Black Ranger out of the... The Power Rangers, because I didn't know who the fuck Charles Barkley was. Sure, but so to me, I'm like, oh, cool. He's just the just the Black Ranger. Just that's out of his yeah, outfit. But just, wasn't there a Black Ranger? No, oh, I see. So he I had, had the Black, black Ranger toy, suit, and but he had to be black too. Well, the, well on the, the TV show, was he was black. Yeah, yeah but I was uh, a little kid. So, I so far, we're going. To, I mean, this is very similar to how I bought Xena the Warrior Princess action figure mm-hmm. when I was in high school, and because uh, because the, they weren't making DC, and I wanted a Wonder Woman, so I bought her. And of course, Toy, toy Fair, a big deal at the time, yeah. the magazine. Uh, I remember. So going through there, and I made it. I made. I shaved down parts of her, yeah. like her outfit, and then painted her the Wonder Woman. Outfit. Dremel. You got your Dremel out. Oh yeah, you yeah. know I did. Come on, I had the Exacto knife. You're going through. Oh yeah, doing little things. Yeah. What was the Kevin Sorbo show? Did you do paint show? washes on it too? That was Hercule. No, I didn't do paint washes. This is my 
first okay. time. You wasn't know what I mean? Like first thing. Got to work your way yeah. up. Yeah. Xena and Hercules were in the same universe. Got it. Yeah. I feel like Xena may, may have been a little more popular, though. I think crazy. Oh, no, she was huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right? I don't know. Yeah, she, no, Xena or a princess was a big deal. Yeah. You ever been into Hot Wheels? Mm-mm. Hot Wheels are a thing that I, I feel like they've done a great job as a brand mm-hmm. of staying relevant throughout generations of, of kids playing with them and like always having the new hot license and making sure that they have stuff that are still cool. What's your the Fast and Furious for? license? They've, they yeah, they, they have a hot license for Hot Wheels. Yeah, they do. Dude, the they Hot, do though. hot Wheels has maintained How dare you, Greg? an they're, aisle. They're plateau. Yeah, no, they're, they've made, maintained an aisle of the toy store for since I've been alive. Sure. Oh yeah. Since I've but been I don't, Lego's done that. Here like, I understand. Yeah, here's yeah, the here's the difference though is that I just don't respect the Hot Wheels game. No. No. Exactly. They're just doing they, okay, boys like cars. You know, and then well, they, like, well, most of the people that buy them are not boys. No, they're yeah, adult males. Uh, I oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't respect you, Hot Wheels. Me and I have some uh, have some experience with Hot Wheels collectors. I'm sure. Yeah, like, well, they're, uh, not... they're a different tribe, different faction. I remember waiting uh, at the Toys R Us two hours before it opened, waiting for Star Wars toys. Yeah, and yeah. the other end of the lot would be these two, uh, you know, um, not rednecky looking guys. And you know we'd be. What are you here for? Hot Wheels. And like, all right, I'm gonna stay away from you. Yeah. But, but it was a different <laughs> class a different, warfare. You're looking class, down your yeah. nose at them. Yeah. Me yeah, talking about making my Wonder Woman. I'm like, I don't respect Hot Wheels, man. Yeah, and they're looking. <laughs> they're looking down on me, but. Uh, definitely older adult males. See, my thing with Hot Wheels part. is I feel like they're just on there. There's like, you look at the hierarchy of toys and like think down, right? And like how Lincoln Logs have faded into obscurity and nobody cares about them. I feel like Hot Wheels is right there at that line. Like at any second, they could disappear no, too. Man. No, man. I, I never, don't think so. Because Hot Wheels, anywhere. especially when you get the tracks involved, yeah. oh. that is the thing of dreams. Oh, Having yeah. a room full of loops and like ridiculous. Yeah, you never have that, that much. Shark you thing. just have your little circle in the one you never had. It felt that, that way. But everyone wants that much. Sure. Yeah, but you never do, so you never have it. I mean, here, here's the shout out I'll give to Hot Wheels before I shit on them again. Is remember when they had the Hot Wheels that you could slam into them and then the tr- the like oh, hood would roll yeah. over and the yeah, damage. Yeah, and like, yeah. 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 I they, do remember that. They could do this. Gran Turismo couldn't do it 20 years later. You know, it's like the thing. Like, <laughs> Hot Wheels had something there. Now, big shout out to Micro Machines. Micro know, Machines yeah. were fucking awesome. awesome. Oh, yeah. Micro Machines was great, and then when they started doing all the again licensing stuff, where it's like they had the Star Wars license uh, oh, Micro Machines. Yeah. yeah, that's where I fell in love with the uh, the A Wing. I was like, oh man, this is my favorite Star Wars. Yeah, ship. I didn't even know it. Is the A Wing still your favorite Star Wars? Uh, I ship? mean, I, I, no, the I love the X Wing, but it's like you know, that's I'm too a big that's too generic. Too. But I love the A Wing because the Micro Machine had the, it was the perfect fit for the little the characters to like just you can stick them in the back and they'd fly on the back. Oh, yeah. It wasn't accurate, but it felt right. Yeah, sure. The yeah. scale felt better. Too. It did. Yeah. yeah. Because the X-Men like was never ski. big enough. That was also the worst thing, too, about action figures is the one that had different scales. So you had, like, one set that was one size and yeah. another set that was, like... That's when it came they, out. That's when I had to do that I was now, like, but, done. like, you end up buying an X-Wing that's, like, this big. Yeah. That's and the then you got to hang on the fucking ceiling. I don't like action <laughs> figures that are, like, those, those G.I. Joes, I mean, I'm from a different era. So to me, I'm like, these are a little tiny. I don't know why sure. they would ever make a toy that big. I'm a big fan of the six-inch. Mm-hmm. You know, you need that you nice solid six-inch, six which mm-hmm. is mu- with as much points of articulation as humanly mm-hmm. possible. Sure. There's yeah. Star Wars figures that are six inches that are quite cool. Wada? If you're into that sort of thing, yeah, is there a six inch Watto? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's oh, what I, have, I have a giant Watto at home right now. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I want a six inch Watto. Yeah, I'll give you one later. Don't worry about it. Come visit my house. I'll give you a six inch Watto anytime. I'm on my way. All right, good. please make the love of your life call your penis Watto from now on. You want me to Saint Ange? Yeah, but like next time you want you want the D, you have to refer to it as the Watto. Watto. Okay. The Watto. The W. Okay. No, no, it's got to be the Watto. 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 How do you say Watto in French? Watto. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, Je ne sais quoi, but it's a Watto. Nailed it. That's it. That's so it. So romantic. Thank so you. Romantic. Oh, that's like, that's my second language. So now you, your life revolves around toys and collectibles it too, does. but you don't have a room like this at home. I don't have a room like this at home. Uh, I, I mean, I'm like, I have two kids, but I just, uh, New Jersey prop, property values. I'm, I'm sure it's the same here. I just don't have that room. And luckily, uh, you know, I can go to the the, the store yeah. and kind of claim it as my own. Sure, that's smart. That's smart. Because that's the thing it. right now with Jen moving in and us moving to a new place, there is these conversations of like, I have all these Superman toys and all these different things. And like, they're not getting thrown away. Don't get me wrong. All right, I'll ship her ass back to Canada if I have right. to. But like, it, like, this is the whole thing of like, well, what happens? Where do you, you know, like, okay. I'm like, anything that's like questionable, I'm like, I'll just bring it to the office, shove it on Nick's desk. Yeah. Put it on the shit. Sounds like a great idea. Worst Throw away the laser tag, whatever. You're going to come and there'll be like nine steals. <laughs> Long haired no, Superman. You know, you is could do is just, you could line. We need some more soundproofing. You could line the top of the sure. studio with that on both sides. Action what? figure yeah, soundproof. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Now, here's my fi- go. before we jump out of this, my final question for you, young Gavin, is the fact of now, is your collection of action figures down there, have you started expanding into 
the Walking Dead line of figures because there's a Clem figure, there's a Lee figure, there's not a Kenny figure yet, which no, is kind of bullshit if you ask me. Never will be. What are you talking about? Kenny's a fan favorite. I guess. Have you started picking up at your friends though? Do you have? I you have, have. You got Dave's. I've got two Melissas. I don't have a Dave yet. I only have Melissas because Skybound sent them to me. And fuck. Now that I've said that, I'm gonna have like a box waiting in my house when I get home. Exactly. Yeah. They are the the nicest people on the planet. They the really Skybound are. guys. Yeah. Send no. in two more Melissas. <clears throat> There you go. Yeah. No, they gave me like shit. What a day. Once a week. You yeah. have a room full of No, I, I I I only have oh. the, the, the those are the only two I have. I didn't get any because I like the show, but I mean I never got into the the figures from the show. There's sure. too many. Yeah, that's true. There's yeah, a lot of them. I did Halo figures, which is also McFarlane, same toy company. Just because those are cool. Those are good figures. Yeah. yeah. You ever into those, those, what's the Square Enix line? The Play Arts? Play yeah, Play Arts, Arts, Play Arts. Oh, I've got some. I've got those like get the, get the I've got, ones. Um, Metroid, or I've got Samus, and um, I've got the Link mm. from Skyward Sword. I've got the Toon Link, but that might actually not be Play Arts. Might be something else. Might be Good Smile or something like that. Okay. But mostly just video game ones, things that I... I don't like buy lines. I buy like, ooh, that's a really cool... Do you buy the characters you voice if they, if they get stuff? No? Okay. Nah. I mean, I probably would, but I haven't done a lot of characters that have been made into toys, mm -hmm. aside from actual toys that I've done. Sure. But I've got like a Furby in my studio, just like sitting in a... It's open, but it's in like one of those little... Remember, well, okay, hold on. Poster? Sorry, this Furby yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Plastic case, yep. it's in that plastic yeah. case. You're the actual voice of the Furby? Yeah. Like the, the current one, the one from 2010 through now. Because yeah. when you said Furby, I'm like, what? Am I missing? Is there Furby some character that I don't know? Well, yeah. Actual Furby. Like, yeah, the yeah. actual wow. Furby. Wow. Weird hamster bird thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a hamster bird. It thing. came back. I, did, I was unaware. Yeah, 2010. Didn't get the memo. That was, a, that was a funny job. So I went down there to audition. It's like a place that I work all the time called Creativity down in San Carlos. And um, they called me in and we did like the audition. And like they're like, okay, so it's this thing. They wouldn't tell me what it was. It's this small furry thing. It's from outer space. Has its own language. Like um, Chewbacca? There's a few different ones. There's, <laughs> what? A, there's a princess. There's like a main character. There's like a warrior. And I'm like, so what, you're casting like three people or something like that? And they're like, no, no, no. We're looking for one person. Like, you want me to to do like a princess? No, like, yeah. Okay. And then they're like, okay. And uh, we don't have a script, but we're rolling. Right. So, and then eventually I, I booked the job. And then like maybe a week in, I'm like, is this... Furby? And they're like, yeah, 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 it's Furby. Didn't we tell you that? I'm like, no, no like one sure told didn't. me that. It would have been fun if they just kept that going throughout the entire run of the series. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what this is, and they're not giving me lines. And it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. No, there was a just lot of start stuff. I making mean, up your own narratives. Eventually, there was a script. But, I mean, for the most part, it was, there were a lot of moments where it'd be like, okay, we need, like, a kind of a euphoric, orgasmic kind of building, climactic sound when you transform into another character. You're rolling. <laughs> what does that sound like? <laughs> what did you, what'd you give him? I'm not doing those, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. To close out this topic, you're yeah. building oh, orgasmic. No, they're so awful. I'm going to. You know? It's exactly that. Oh, perfect. Right. Thank you. Gonna, if you, if you need it's it. with you until the end. If you, you need know, to. That last how do you oh. orgasm? <laughs> Too <laughs> orgasmic. I just got. Mine usually sounds like this. Thank you. That's all I got. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I'm so happy it's Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Tim, what's your topic? Holy. Oh, that was something. The Walking Dead, specifically, how is it going to end? How should it end? I'm talking about the, the show. end of Walking Dead. Well, show, show comics. I, 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 show, I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, like, like my how, thing is like let's keep it as the broad overall because okay. you know there's through lines here and there, whatever. Sure. I'm. I don't like because this is weird where it's going to get into spoiler territory. Sure. But like we don't need to necessarily name any specifics. Of, I think. I think the only thing is I think that for me there's a definitive moment that it'll end, and I think. That it only I don't think it's a spoiler for. I think Walking Dead ends that when Walking Dead ends, they'll kill Rick. Oh yeah, I think that'll yeah. be the death of Rick and I then Carl that's rising up. Coming sooner than later. You think so? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You think that's after the, the end? last season? Yeah. You're talking about you're talking about the show Ooh. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. yeah. see. I think the show will keep around in perpetuity. I don't know. And I mean, yeah, I, I'm I think the last season was awful. Personally, I think the show, the show. The season finale yeah, sooner than planned. Nothing happens. But so. also. I, I think that they would have wanted it to go on like fifteen or so sure. seasons, but you, I think that, I think the ten, I think it'll, it'll end at ten. What's what are we at now? Seven. seven, just, seven just ended. Just seven. Yeah, I I read that they have twelve seasons oh, mapped out. Really? Yeah. But I can. See I mean, that, that makes sense based on the comic. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, now here is where the weird spoilery thing. I don't think it's that spoilery. Is the comic anything. over? No, it's no. still going. Okay. No, no, no. 
But like, there's. I think you can look at what's happening where they left off this season, where they'll start next yep. season. Yeah. Next season will be all out war. All out war. And then they'll f- the finale will have a definitive moment. Then there'll be a blackout. Then we'll come back and we'll pick up with yep. what happens next. Yeah. And that'll be the thing where, in a, to the general audience, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" And then. I think you're going to have that renewed spark of interest that everybody's super into it. Because that's yeah, how it's been. It's like Walking Dead, the TV show, got so popular that there was nowhere else for it to go but down. Yeah. And it was that thing mm-hmm. of like people with this side of the other with the season. Like, and it was a weird one for me because I thought they did Negan so well for what I would have wanted out of Negan that first half a season. And then it, at the end, it kind of started getting a little muddled or whatever. And then when they came back from mid-season break, I totally somehow missed it. This is my whole life is like comics and Walking Dead and nerd stuff. And it was two, two weeks... The, Second episode aired, and then that Monday on uh, the morning show, people were like, "What did you think?" And I'm like, "Is it back? Like what?" Yeah. I didn't even. <laughs> no, I fell off even earlier than that. Like I thought the first two or three episodes of the season were great, and I loved Negan's character. Being familiar with him from the comic, I was like, "Oh, they're doing a good job of adapting this differently for TV." But then it just reached a point where I'm like, "No, no, you're just doing this over and over and over and over, and it's like not going anywhere." Yeah. And so I just I didn't even come back yet. Mm-hmm. I will, I'm sure, at some point, just to like catch up but uh i'm just thinking more just overall broad like we know the story we know that no matter whether it's a video game tv show comic there is this world that exists there are the rules of the world and at some point the the main storyline will come to an end i think that rick will die and that will not be the end i think that'll then it'll allow uh, carl to well are you older but are you talking about the show or are you talking about the comic or both? overall because i think like, the comic especially if you guys are talking about him rick dying in the show then I think the comic won't reflect that. And the comic will keep doing its thing. I would say it's flipped. Okay. I see Rick dying in the show being the end of the show. I think Rick mm-hmm. dying in the comic is just the thing to push forward for where the story goes after that. See, I mean, I would think... I can. I feel you on it. I understand what you're saying. I would think in the the show, Andrew Lincoln would be a huge... Wanting to leave is a huge problem, right? And I think that's what they're eventually going to get to is that all this, all these cast members are going to want to do something else. And so how do you balance that and do that? And I think that would make sense for him to die there. But I, I think the book... What, I, what I'm desperate kind of for the book to get back to is I'd like to see it reined back in. There's just yeah. too many fucking people in there. Well, and like, oh, yeah. Too many uh, characters. Right. Coming so back... Do you guys I, read the, the book? I don't read the comic. I read the first two trades. Okay. Yeah, I read the comic. Okay, definitely. Are you caught up totally? I'm not totally caught up. Okay, but uh, you know, I, I know where I know where it's going yep. for sure. Yep. Yeah, and that's and then Nick. I don't read the comic at all. No, I just get my updates from you two. And yeah, we're totally caught together. up. Yeah, we're on. totally caught up. Awesome. And it's yeah. like there is, is it is it worth like for people who haven't read? Is it worth going back and reading at this point? I think so. Yeah, think I so? think so too. Yeah, you can pick up well, the compendiums are uh, 48 issues each. Um, I have every a, trade. I can just, just let them yeah. It's like it's a, they're good read. They're quick reads. Too. And the thing is, it's different enough from the show mm-hmm. that even if you know the show, there's so many twists and turns. That how long are they at the barn for? Because you know that's my favorite season. Uh, it's it's totally different. Damn I mean, it's so it's like three issues. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. But that's the thing of like. The comic, I feel like I want him. I'd like to pair it back. I'd like because I thought my favorite, you know, in the comic was like when uh, we were in there, everything's great, you know, prison life's happening, and then we got ripped out of that, and it was just uh, Carl and Rick for a while. Yeah. And I was like, that's awesome. I'd like to get back to that because that's the whole thing in both these issues. It's really like we've gotten so far away from zombies, which is fine. You know well, what I mean? Now they're coming back. Sure. Pretty strong. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why I, this is where I th- the topic that I was trying to head towards is is. Now that they've kind of done everything they can possibly do, every variation of this person died that way, this person died that way, this is what this leader's like, this is what that leader's like, we're at a point where it's like they can't just introduce another big bad guy and have a different camp and have Alexandria get run over again and where do they go? And like I, I feel like where with the storyline they're going at now, there is a turning point that in they comics? need. Yeah, in the, okay. in the comics. They need to make a decision that's going to move the series in a totally different direction mm-hmm. uh, to keep it relevant. Um, the kind of like fan service and that I don't think that they'll ever do, and it's a little too, like, ugh, is the him waking up from the coma at the end and, like, the whole thing was. Oh, wow. Like, that would be oh, in his a head. dream. Oh, that would that'd be awful. That would yeah. be <laughs> it's not a good words, idea. It's automatically awesome and awful at the same time where it's like, oh, that's really I cool. I can't believe you the balls to do yeah. that. But Fuck was it, you. Uh, <laughs> was it Dallas? Was that yeah. the original yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, people didn't. I don't remember them liking it too much when that happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, it didn't go over well. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was not well received, Patrick The only thing cool about it is, like, it, the whole thing started with him getting shot and put in the That's true. So it's like, that would be uh, one big mind fuck. But it's like, that is, there's so much that happened where it's like, that's a, a weird ass coma you went through. Boy. That's possible. Yeah. I mean, that, that's my thing is I, so many other yeah. people, so many random. And you also you dreamed there, about your best you friend having sex with your yeah. wife and then you killed him. <laughs> that was pretty, that, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. And your son loses an eye. If um, I had a nickel. The, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, 
I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to take it back. <laughs> I uh, drink about you fucking people. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I Yeah, my thing is I, I know that it's counterintuitive to what the show is, but I do want some level of closure with it. And whether that means, hey, we've we've closed out Rick's storyline, we've closed out the the original cast storyline. Like, I would like to see Maggie keep going. I don't know if she's alive in the comic books or not, but in the show, I'd like to see her. She, it, it looks like they're angling for her to be the leader that everyone yeah. needs at a certain point. And, and, and Rick is very much, you can kind of see that they're starting to build him out as like the grizzled old worn down, you know, leader who was, might be, it might be ready for him to go. Um, you know, I also would like to see someone take over that actually knows something about um, military strategy, so they don't keep getting their asses handed to them every single fucking time they do anything. That would Running be nice. Running around, just in open, just out some in the concept open. of someone like, hey, look up the word flank and maybe use that yeah. from here on out. <laughs> I've played um, Call of Duty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on. Um, but Toss you know, a breach in there, breach and clear, do Throw something, some do something where like, you know, know but, but you know, I mean, that's the thing is I, I kind of, I was with you, right? The show came back and I was like, Oh, I suddenly I looked at my DVR and I had three episodes, um, taped or recorded rather. Um, and I'm I like, love shit. the idea of you using a VCR and you're like, <laughs> set, you're like, like setting the you timer last oh week. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. The last time we had to set. put it on EP. We're going to put a lot on this tape yeah. because yeah. the last time tape. you and I, you rewound it at the end too, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The last time you and I had to interact with a VHS player did not go, go very well. Fucking resonant. Oh, yeah. The little tracking wheel. You got to use oh, it. Yeah, use yeah, a yeah. Gentleman. Oh, use man. a gentleman. I love this. That's what you had to earn it. You know what I mean? You had to like work for it. Yeah. Um, but no, but that's the thing is, and then, and then halfway through my wife was like, look, we should, it's on there. Let's just, we do have a Sunday. Let's just start watching. And I got back into and then toward the season finale, I was like, okay, I'm a little bit more invested. Well, that's now. one of the things that I think works for both the sh- the show and the comics is that binging them is awesome. Yeah, uh, for me, with so the com- the way I got turned on to Walking Dead w- was uh, my senior year of college, 2005. Uh, editor at, or whatever a TA in the class I was is like, you like zombies, right? And he's like, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, and he's like, you need to read these. And it was volume one and two of the trades, and that was tr- two had just come out. Yeah, I was like, fuck, this is awesome. And this is before comics were digital, so I was like. I'm not going to buy single issues. I don't want to get back into bagging and boarding. I'll only buy trades. And so what it was for me is that every time a new trade came out, I would read all the other ones before it right. to get caught up. So I know Walking Dead trades 1 through 12 so well. And then when they switched over to digital, and that, that's just a number I pulled out of my ass, I started picking it up month to month. And it was so hard of like, yeah. things happen so quick. And then it is like, you open it back up like, wait, where are we and what's happening? Right. Well, the problem is this? the art. Like all the characters started to look exactly the same after yeah. a while. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. exactly the same. Like there was a, an image I saw online one time where it's like someone just added a caption that's like, look, this is Rick saving Rick from beating up Rick. Yeah. And I'm like, Holy <laughs> shit, that's hilarious. Yeah, and it's uh, black and white, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it makes to, it to. it makes it hard. But I had the same experience, but in a much bigger way, because you were trying to sell me on Walking Dead forever, and I was just like, eh, I don't really like it. Mm-hmm. And then I gave it a real shot and I binged the entire comic series from issues one to like 150, which was like wow. a lot. Yeah. And then that was around the time that uh, I think season six was like halfway done in uh, on TV. Yeah. So then I binged the whole show up till there. And the binging experience is, yeah, this is the Rick beating <laughs> up Rick. Rick saving Rick from beating up Rick. <laughs> um, it doesn't help that they're all like long haired with beards yeah. now because right. they can't shower. Yeah. And, and it's all black and white. It's all black and white. But then both the show and comic got a lot less interesting when it was week to week for me yeah and, that, and that's the thing about the show sorry i lost this the narrative there of like yeah like i i don't mind i'm treating flash the same way where i fucking love flash and cw but i've gotten so out of sync watching them week to week that it's like fucking let them build up and i'll just knock them out on a plane or do whatever jump around and do that yeah and i'll be honest uh, this season uh, people are like you know something's missing what's missing glenn and abraham i'm gonna yeah. be honest I, I miss glenn's my favorite character um uh, yeah even for you fucking ob- racist. even for the obvious reasons, <laughs> and, uh, and, and Abraham was probably a close second. No, Abraham was great in the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. they're not Mother there Dick. anymore, and um, you know, they, they, they those are two big holes to fill for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing is, like, yeah, with the cast and the chemistry about it, there are so many different things. Of like, when Andrea was still on the show. I hated Andrea. Oh, yeah. Fuck. And not God. the actress. She's fine. But it was just the fact of, like, you're not the Andrea from the books. I, I love Andrea from the comics yeah. so much that, like, who are you and why are you doing this? And, like, blah, blah. And so, like... Michonne's rise has been great yeah. and her filling Andrea's role in right. the show I'm like alright no this is cool but even Michonne was rambling and aim- a- a- aimless for so long yeah. that by the time I'm like alright we kind of locked it in great and then like the way they used Daryl those episodes were great I thought this season I love Daryl and stuff like that but mm. it is the thing of there still are so many like filler characters on there of like you can show me the whole lineup and I'm, it's the same way of like where I, when we were coming back from the season finale to this one we were like oh you think they're going to kill him I'm like no they're going to kill that one guy none of us can name the one guy who dropped the photos, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ethan, I think, but I don't even know no. if that's right or not. I still don't know his name. Fuck. But it's because I drop in and I'm doing other things. The like, gay guy. 
Yeah, the yeah, show the is, with the nice jacket. I forget his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the show has gone. The was like the clean, when you first see him, you're like, this guy has been clearly behind a gated community. Yeah, because he's not. He doesn't look like Rick. Although, shout out to Rick uh, during what. Well, not last season, season before that, where they were like aimlessly walking around for forever, and they had to do that bridge scene where they were like, okay, or just like, shoving them over. Yeah, yeah they had all Rick weak. had the. It was like really bummy, Rick. Yeah. My wife dug that man. She was just like, oh, <laughs> already oh, smells awful. Oh, yeah. So like recently, the of a peer. Uh, in the comics, a main character got bit. Yeah, and that is the first time zombies were a threat in a very, very, very long time. Yeah. My thing is, I think that this is the time where they introduce some weird. I've weird been thinking shit about where this like, too. Oh. The zombies aren't, they're like, they're, they're not affecting people anymore. See, I just assume that would be don't. Judith's role. Well, that's, that's the thing too. It's like, does Judith, is she, do they like she's discover to that she's like born. people yeah. that are born after are immune yeah. to the, the shit and just go from there? Uh, that, that's, I would be fine with that as far as like closure. Because I know they're never going to be like, oh, it's this thing that caused it. We found a cure. It's just, we're beyond, we're so far beyond that. But from the record, like when we talk about how it's all going to end, I wouldn't be surprised if a narrative introduced to the final season of the show was... We think we have a cure, and it's not anything we've done in the books before. Possibly. Because that's not really something they've done other than Eugene in the books. But, like, right. I think it could totally be that they finally, for that final season, craft some kind of thing that the narrative is they're going, going, going. And similar, I know, to what happened with the CDC, but they're getting to some place. They get there. They make the final push. Rick gets in the room, but he gets bit along the way, gets in there, discovers yet that there, there's nothing. They can't fix this, and he has a moment or whatever, and Carl's off doing something else. Carl. Like Carl. 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 Do you think uh, they'll ever stop putting Carl on that hat in the show? No. Do you think they'll ever make Carl cut his hair? No. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if it, if, if it follows the comics, yes to both of those. Okay, good. But, I mean, but. they'll be like, it's, he's saying, like, make them. Like, I mean, it'll be like, you know, I, mean, I, I thought that was more of a, like, Fans don't like the hat or whatever. I think like there was gonna be storylines and stuff no, and reasons no, for it. I just mean, like, that. like, do we need the hat anymore? Do we need let him let him be his thing? Like, Carl, give me back my hat. And then, com yeah, but comics, I don't know where they're gonna end up. I yeah. mean, it'll be interesting how long it goes because I mean, it is that thing of like, this is going to continue to print money forever and ever and ever in yeah. any. New, I mean, way. at some point, Kirkman said he wanted to do three hundred issues. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. And we're at a hundred and. What's the 60 63, something now. I think? Yeah, something yeah, like so that. Yeah, so we're not even, we're just a little over halfway. But I mean, like, I just, you know, it's fun because I was, when I was helping Jen move, I, she has my Walking Dead Trade 1 that she had read, and I picked it up and I was paging through it for the first time in yeah. years. And I, just that intro letter of him just talking about, like, I'm this is to me a zombie movie that never ends. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, I, how, it's one of those, as his career has skyrocketed and done so many different things, I really wonder what that is. Because that's what Invincible must have been, right? Of like, yeah, I could keep doing Invincible, but I'm fucking really busy. So I need to start killing my children and decide which ones I want to do. And do I want to go write no. more shows and do all these different things and work on movies? Like, what has to give? And again, eventually, The Walking Dead will have to give, you assume, yeah. in some way. I mean, you know I mean? think that, like, especially with Invincible, it's gotten to a point where I don't know what more they could do. They've done every angle and reverse angle sure. of that, and like any like thing that you didn't expect has yeah. happened to the point that that series as a whole. How many issues are we in now? Like one thirty something, seven or something, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And like it's gonna end, so it'll end around one fifty, if not at one fifty. Mm -hmm. Looking at that, I'm like, there's only been a couple lulls, and like, overall, it's been fantastic. And th there might be like a twelve issue lull here and a twelve issue lull there, but overall, really? it's been great. Whereas with Walking Dead, it's like most of it has been really good. There's been a couple dips here and there. Yeah. When are they gonna hit that point where it's like, all right, well you've, I feel like they're already there. Where it's like they've done everything. Yeah. What else can, can you do, do right? Because you need to keep me going. Oh shit! The way that the series has. And so see, far. that's the interesting thing about what you mentioned. This main character getting bitten recent issues is like, it didn't have for me the same pop as the other ones. And I don't know if it didn't have the pop for me because I wasn't reading all the trades. So I wasn't like in that moment. I wasn't right there. Cause like you sit down and even, you know, 22 pages in, okay, I've been distracted from life for 10 minutes, 15 right. minutes. It's not the same way of spending hours to get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, give us what do you think? How's it gonna end? What's the end? Uh, I think I think uh, I, I did a panel with Michael Rooker and uh, somebody asked Michael him Rooker, him, Michael Rooker, <laughs> Henry Portrait Israel Killer. <laughs> somebody asked him how he wanted to end, and uh, you know, he just said, uh, you know, Carl, older, grizzled, walking down a train track into into the sunset, and uh, you know, all all the stuff we've seen is his past memories, and he's he's alone. Mm. Everybody else is dead. And uh, and that's how he wanted to, wanted to end. I I kind of like that. Where uh, yeah, he's the only one left. Yes. And, uh, everyone he pops out with every, the arm yeah. and gets him in the other eye. Yeah, everyone he knows loves. They're they're all gone. He's the only one left. Yeah. And um, the everything we've seen were just his past. Uh, you know, his past memories. Yeah, that'd be good. 
Yeah. yeah. I you see figure that. Carl's got to be the... He's got to yeah. be it, right? Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Well, yeah, it can't be Judith because she's not going to remember anything. What, yeah. Yeah. Judith, what a fucking cop-out. Yeah. TV. TV shows, I tell what? you what. Why is that a cop-out? Meh. Oh. You should read the books. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> the baby's cute. How dare you? But that and that, but even I mean, for Carl, that was the same way too. Where I'll never forget that. Like you want to talk about oh shit moments in the comic when he got shot in the head, and you yeah. were like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Man, he's dead." And then he was miraculously alive. And I'm like, like "That kind of right. sucks. That's weird or whatever." Yeah, and then whatever. He, I'm like, "Oh, he's kind of unbalanced." And yeah. He's like, "No, he's just a normal kid again." I'm like, "All right, whatever." Eh, I mean, I, I feel like they've done a good job with this character. I like how the series has handled kids growing up in this world because sure. they're all fucked up. Yeah, like they, they're there's been no kid in the series that's just cool. And normal. To be fair, I guess none of the adults are normal either. But the kids are really fucked up. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, as you would assume they would be. Yeah. yeah. There was the kid that was uh well, in this in the TV show that with the other kid that was like homicidal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Lizzie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lizzie. Look at the yeah. flowers, Lizzie. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. No, yeah, that was that's, that's even I was referring to the other boy that was in Alexandria. Oh the right, cry baby. Right. Oh yeah. Cry yeah, baby. yeah, no, yeah. That, that was fucked up. Yeah. That was a fucked up storyline. Shout out to Carol. Yeah, that was yeah. Shout, Shout out to Carol. <laughs> Shout Carol? out to Carol, man. That has to do it. Carol's one of those characters. Actually, that's probably one of the reasons why I think that this last season didn't resonate with me because I'm such a big Carol fan of the TV yeah. show. That her that storyline of her being like I'm withdrawn, I'm like Get your fucking head on straight, Dude, Carol. That, Let's I mean, go. Honestly, Let's go. That's the You're greatest the insult warrior. of the, the TV show is that for all the character development they've done for Carol, they've just backed up on everything. And it's just like you dropped the ball. She's you can't, back in. You though. can't have her like do this like back and forth. It's like, no, you've sold her. She's a fucking badass. She's so a warrior, yeah. dude. You can't have her lose. Then she's already lost it. And it's like you're weak now. And Eugene's even fucking worse. All the shit they're doing with him. I'm like, they built up from him being an asshole, like liar. To him being a, a some guy that's supposed to be like a good dude, and now he's a, they're just dropping the ball again. Traitor. Yeah. Traitor, I kind of like that, though. I kind of like really? that. Really? I am. It Negan. makes sense to oh, me shit. That, like, that he would end up that way. It, it seems plausible because he would look for whatever That's his, that's safety. his like, safety mechanism. And yeah. plus, he's Therefore, unmoored without Abraham, right? Like, that's the thing. But that, but my thing is, I feel like the Abraham moment, like, it, so fucking the, awesome. The, the thing with it. characters dying is it's like, that needs to mean something, yeah. or else there's no point. So... Abraham dying, if it's going to just purpose or serve purpose to other characters, it needs to serve purpose to those characters. Well, it did. It, it made Sasha Eugene. and uh, I get it, but like decided to go on a suicide mission group. for no reason that was completely Eugene. ill-planned. Again, somebody needs to read a book on warfare. <laughs> Stop just randomly haphazardly trusting everyone and assuming that like, you can just walk into a place and kill everyone. It doesn't ever yeah, work. Kevin. It doesn't work, Kevin. Don't do that, Kevin. The only thing Kevin can yeah. walk into and kill is a Wendy's. Yeah. Or he likes that Frosty. Oh, no. Yeah, Frosty Freeze. Was that Wendy's? Frosty. 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 Just Frosty. 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 Just Frosty. Frosty. I've read okay. The Art of War. Like, I, I don't oh, know Sun Tzu. Yeah, Sun good book. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. I'd, You've like, watched I'm fucking Star ready. Wars. You, you can guys fight in come space. at me, and I'll fucking get no, all No, that's of why you. we have you. If we go to war, we know that you're going to be the one leading us. It's not going to be this daffodil, and it's certainly not going to be this beautiful son of a bitch. I'm much more of a Eugene, yeah. I just make it. <laughs> make bullets and shit. I roll with the punches. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just bend over for uh, whoever wants to whoever wants to take it from me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You have Eugene's hair, like his new hair. I do. Not his TV show hair. No, I, I could pull off the mullet. I would need scissors, but yeah. We got some. We, we got some. For you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right, my topic. Mullet me up. How stoked would your wife be if you came home with a mullet today? Really unstoked, but it wouldn't last. <laughs> She'd She's like, like at least you got your shirt on. Check, I'll call Bija. So. All right, my topic comes from Twitter and mm. interaction. Mm. My topic is frozen pizzas. Ooh. Yeah. Frozen yeah. pizzas. Now, what of course happened is... A while back, DiGiorno followed you, Tim? DiGiorno followed me on Last Twitter. Last year, February 2016. nowhere. In February 2016, nothing prompted this. I didn't talk about DiGiorno, wasn't talking about pizza, didn't tweet at anybody. They just followed me. And I was like, that's weird. This must be one of those things where on Twitter, like, they follow 40,000 people. Sure, they, they're just Yeah, they're just trying to get followers, right? I look, they were only following like 200 people. Yeah. And I'm like, this was targeted. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> followed me. Someone knew what was up. And I don't understand why. So then I tweeted about it, and I was like, holy shit, DiGiorno followed me, and th- this is real. That's weird. And they responded, and they're like, oh, man, hey, you know, something nice. I don't remember what the fuck it was. And then a fan responded to that, including me, and mm-hmm. said they should get bring back the buffalo chicken pizza yeah. for Game Over Reggie. Mm-hmm. Then Two we go, year, we go silent. Later. We go silent for Radio 14 silent months. For 14 Nothing months. else. months. <laughs> Out of the blue, DiGiorno responds to my tweet, because I responded yes or yeah. totally. They respond to my tweet with, 
a finger pointing down, and it was the return of the buffalo chicken Whoa, pizza stuffed alrighty. crust pizza. Yeah, that's a lot of production time. Yeah. They, I they, just don't get it though. Well, so then I don't want to do their heads. So then I respond. I tweet about this. Holy shit! That 14 months later, they make good on this conversation, and we're like, they should send us some pizzas. And then a week <laughs> later. We a giant freezer box comes. We open it up. There's seven DiGiorno buffalo chicken pizzas inside this motherfucker. Nice. With a note from DiGiorno. That's the most important part. Is that's the note. actually. Yeah, let me go get the note. You okay. fill some time. Talk okay. about pizza. That's okay. gay. So I was I was shocked by this because when I saw this, I was just like, wow, this is the long con. Like they 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 saw this tweet mm-hmm. a year ago and they're like, you know what? It's in production. We, somebody earmarked this. Yeah. And we're gonna get back to them and we're gonna let them know when the the chicken pizza comes. And they did. So you assume that. The other, the other assumption would be that they were like, "That's a genius idea. We haven't thought about that." And let's let's. Do you don't think Greg was the originator of that idea now, with them? There's, there's. I don't some, think so either. I'm just playing devil's advocate. some information here that I don't think that we have correct. Okay. I think the buffalo chicken pizza's been around for a long time. There's, I at some point this guy must have just come across this tweet. Because well, this is not a new product. But is this stuffed crust part of it new? I don't is my know. question. Because some know. guy had said, yeah, and when we started talking about this again, they were like, well, no, I've seen the buffalo chicken in my store, but I don't know if it had the, the mm, stuffed crust. Mm. Regardless, I'll tell you what, I check Andronico's every fucking week and there's no buffalo chicken frozen. DiGiorno, other, otherwise. The letter from DiGiorno reads, kind of funny. It's not delivery, dot, 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 unless Greg Miller asks for it to be delivery. Parentheses, this is not our new slogan. Winky sly face. Emoji. And then your best friends at DiGiorno. Oh, it's got an emoji sticker. Yeah, and yeah. that's yeah. serious. So it's, uh, a best that friend works serious. at DiGiorno. Is is no, that's how it all right starts, what's right? The, what's that the postscript serious. on that? Are we allowed to read that? Postscript says, thanks for the assist, Tim. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Or thanks for the assist on this. I, just, I love everything about this because, one, best friends. So we got, we got the, the community working over at DiGiorno. Yeah. But the best part is that they made the joke that everyone wants to make that, oh, it is delivery. Yeah, exactly. Because they delivered the DiGiorno. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is fantastic. So when all this goes down on Twitter... Alex Enterline at the bottom, bot, bot, or, bot it's Bodum. like boredom, but it's just, no, there's no Bodum. R. Reaper. Bodum Reaper. The Bodum Reaper. Has there been a gog topic on frozen pizzas? If not, then this feels like the right time to do it. Mm. And I was like, motherfucker, that's a great idea. There has, we talk about pizza a lot. We had the whole pineapple war. Mm-hmm. This is, mm. you know, we're, we're moving on now to the frozen pizza war. I want to know how frozen pizzas come down for everybody. Shout out to frozen pizzas, man. Yeah. I, I look at frozen pizzas. <laughs> Shout out to frozen, frozen same, pizzas, man. The same way that I look at Panda Express where I'm like, uh, I fucking love it. It's not Chinese food, no. but I fucking love it. Frozen pizzas, they're not pizzas. Nope. They're their own subgenre. They're their own they're category. Whole other basket of and I love that shit. It's so good. You never have a bad frozen pizza. And if you do, you're not you eating it You cooked it right. wrong. No, you're, you're never not doing yeah. it again. You are the issue, not the pizza. Here's where I want to start with this. Is I want to talk to Gavin. Yeah. You have... I'm old as fuck. You, no, 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 no. You have... <laughs> <laughs> Call oh, spade a spade. I remember the first frozen pizza. I'm actually going the opposite way I mean, to be fair, man. You have children. Yeah. I do. I remember, for me, frozen pizza was such a big deal as a kid. Oh, you know what man. I mean? Are these kids, are kids these days still eating frozen pizzas with reckless abandon? Not in my house. So I'm a, I'm, okay, I was raised on Totino's. Hell yeah, you were. And I was raised Ooh. on the Stouffer's. The Stouffer's oh. French bread pizzas, oh. which I Hold would on. still. I would, this is a subgenre of a subgenre. I know, I know. But I would still totally eat those. And I, and I love them. But um, I, we're total pizza snobs. I make it. I make the crust. I grow the tomatoes. I grow the basil. Oh, I make wow. the sauce. He does it all shirtless. He does too. shirtless. Yeah, shirtless. If I'm out in the garden, man, I'm His not wearing a sweat. Gets shirt. on the tomatoes, and that comes through in the sauce. And it's the salty. Gravy. I mean, it's extra made salt. with love. It's like made a salty. Love. It's like a musky salt too. It is. It's good. So, God damn it! But yeah, so we don't do the frozen pizza. Interesting. We have like so the only ones that I will that I'll buy these days are the. Trader Giotto's from Trader Joe's, okay. like those Italian style ones, like their four cheese one. It's pretty good. Yeah. But like my wife made it for the kids one night and they're all, yeah. They had like one piece. That was it. But like oh, my pizza, bad, they'll yeah. fucking kill the they're thing. They'll eat the sure. whole thing. Sure. You ever put it on a bagel? You ever make a bagel pizza? Oh, yeah, sure. Throw pizzas on a bagel. No, I, I did. You can have pizza anytime. I'm, I, I know. I totally agree. I mean, I would make pizza on a piece of bread, you know, but my kids aren't going to eat it. They're going to be all, mm. Ming, are you in the garden of New Jersey? Your New Jersey home I am making get- in New Jersey, uh, but I grew up in the Midwest. I okay. I grew up on Tombstone pizzas. Yeah, fuck yeah, you did. Tombstone. Here we go. Now we're see. This is yeah. where it starts. Where yeah. in the Midwest were you? Uh, I was in uh, in in Illinois yeah. near yeah. you, and yeah. then I grew yeah. up in Michigan in, okay. in, in, in South Bend, Indiana. Right sure. And uh, yeah, you know what do you want in your tombstone? Fuck that, cheese and pepperoni. Cheese the and best pepperoni. commercials. Yeah, yeah. But then I moved to New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And then I found out I discovered what real pizza was. Right. You know, New York, New Jersey. 
East Coast pizza. Your pizza snobs too, yeah. Oh yeah, bar yeah. none. Some of the best. And rightfully pizza. so. Yeah, it's good pizza. I don't know what I'm going to call pizza in the, the world. And and there's a joint on every corner. Yeah. There's no reason to get a frozen pizza in New Jersey. Mm, that's a good point if you too. do, you must be like on crack. Or just, just but this, this goes back to what I'm saying, though. It's like that's like in San Francisco. There's so much good Chinese food, but yeah. I still like Panda Express. It's yeah. just like it's a, even though there's no need for it, it's its own little thing. Every once in a while, you're just like, you know what? Don't want to leave. I don't want delivery. I want DiGiorno. You know, I want to just open up my freezer and just yeah. have some magic happen in a couple give minutes. Anybody at my door, my some money. Yeah, See, I think no. that's I why for me they door. resonate so much with childhood frozen pizzas. Sure. It's because yeah. it is you're a kid, you totally. don't have money, so it's like it was the first thing we knew how to cook. Exactly. My brother knew how to put a Totino's in the oven. Yep, so exactly. when my grandma would come over, take the money that you know that my folks left to buy us food and spend it all on steak for her and her boyfriend. Yeah. My brother could make the Totino's pizza. <laughs> nice. Does this really happen to you? Yeah, it's a sad but true story. <laughs> God wow. damn. All right. I also like your grandma had a boyfriend. That's that's, that's hot, hot right there. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Was yeah. he younger? Uh no. No, he <laughs> oh, was okay. not. She drove a Pinto, a blue Pinto. Okay. Yeah. Like a mad woman. <laughs> <laughs> See for me, yeah, it was Did that was it nicknamed the Dick Magnet? Because uh, <laughs> like, because it worked. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. She did have a lot of boyfriends, man. Did yeah. she? Yeah, she, she was did. like the Golden Girls. She kind of was. Wow. She was she was kind of the mean one though. Oh mm-hmm. really? I mean, well, apparently, yeah, she's taking the money left for you guys. And well, making you know, she did give you the pizzas though. Killed my hermit crabs. Well, no, the, they, my, were they, they were there. there. My they were there already. Bought the pizzas. Yeah. They were already in <laughs> the there. Already. Oh, oh. how'd you Wait, kill your hermit you crabs? She just didn't feed him or do anything to him. I was like four or five. Gosh, oh, did you feel no the guilt of that? I picked the shell up and they just fell out. Oh. <laughs> it's the worst. That's, how it That's their yeah. homes. That was that was. They kind died of in their homes. They died doing what they, they love. They died doing what they love. Yeah. Living, <laughs> living in their crab died home. Doing what they love. So yeah, for me it was it, it was it's for me it's it starts with tombstones. I remember my mom and dad buying those a lot because we'd have like, you know, kids sleepovers or whatever. And these kids are just eating out of house and home. You're not going to order 30 pizzas from no. the local pizzeria restaurant. No. You're no. going you're gonna to go there and you get all these goddamn tombstones. And we think they're great because you don't know any better. You're just excited to be eating pizza because yeah. that's and that's the whole bagel bite. It was thing. just pizza. Yeah, that was the whole point. Any kind of pizza I can get, I'm going to yeah. eat. I don't care about this one bit. See, here's the, the pro fat kid maneuver is you get the the frozen like personal pizzas. Yeah. You know? Um, that are about the, the the nice size, like we didn't, you, you know, like maybe like the six inch around sure. type one you're looking sure. at. You take that, cook it, fold that motherfucker in half like a pizza taco, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you eat it that way. Oh yeah! yeah. It, now we, you're playing with power. Yeah, out east we call that the fold. The fold. The fold. Yeah. Yeah. Call it the fold. Well, that's it's what good. you do with a good a good thin a slice. Yeah, slice. A good you New York it. slice. You right. fold it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. From, yeah. But there's something about the personal pizza because there's crust just all around that thing. Yeah. I'm a big crust guy. Okay. Love my crust. Interesting. Pizza well, crust. Go in there. Now, where, how do people feel about, it's not frozen, but a boboli? What the fuck oh, is a boboli? No, it's no. Like those, I know it's like what a boboli is. Yeah. When you're crusts. in the grocery store and you get to the end of the aisle they're never and they in got. They're the refrigerated section, which is creepy. They got the. They're just it's hanging like there the crust. crust. They got, they're hanging there the bags of sauce. And you, Aunt Dell used to pull this shit on me of like, we're, I'm sleeping over at their house. We're not ordering pizza. Okay, we're going to eat the we're frozen pizza. Boboli. No, we're doing boboli. And I'm like, all right, and you—it's like the—you're making it yourself, but you're just assembling. It's like it's like it's lunchables? like lunchables. It's like a fancier lunchable it is, pizza. Yo, thing. Like lunchables. Shout out to lunchables pizza though. Fuck lunchables pizza. Again though, yeah. that we're, shit we're talking sucks. subgenre of subgenre. Because <laughs> I, I get it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's not real pizza. It's no. just kind of—it's like a cracker. With Again, you're just exciting pizza. Yeah, oh, and boboli by boboli. You could, I think, they they have a package where you could get like the sauce and the cheese and oh, everything yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it together. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did we ever have this bubbly cap? But you do yeah, have to assemble. You have to assemble. And then you, and then you put see. It in the now oven. this is this is I think Bobley gets me to a similar situation of Bobley. Damn. Your, your Papa Murphy's. Fuck mm. these oh, take yeah, and the bake take and pizzas. Bake. Fuck right off. No, but I either want it frozen or I want it done. I don't want this in between. I'm already driving to the store to get your shitty fucking hound done no. pizza. See, there it is. Fuck. Yeah. Bobbly. That's right. No. <laughs> there it is. This shit is look, garbage. Look at that crust. Look that at ain't that. pizza. Mm. So now I'll, that I'll ain't go pizza. with the half baked if it's like a Chicago style. If it's like a deep oh dish, sure no 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 half baked because otherwise you're gonna be sitting there for an hour. No no and yeah. Minutes. If I'm getting a Chicago style pizza, I can do you that. You get sure. one of those that's half baked and you bring it home and it's yeah. like 20 minutes in the oven. That's have you done the Papa no. Murphy thing though? Because the Papa Murphy isn't baked at all. It's a take and bake. Yeah no I know. No, fuck yeah, off. No, no, no I don't need this shit. Great. Because then you can't even let it rock in the box. Yeah. Last week you did something that blew my mind. Sure. I wasn't here to experience. Oh sure. I know where you're going with this one. I do, we had the DiGiorno pizzas. Mm-hmm. We decided we wanted to cook the DiGiorno pizzas. Mm-hmm. The Kind of Funny Studios used to be a home a long time ago. Then the, the landlord's like, no more homes, just businesses that run 
bad YouTube channels. And so we got it, awesome. but that meant they ripped out the oven. So there's mm-hmm. no way to, in the shower. So there's no way to cook in here. Mm. That's why we bought, bought the grill. Maybe violated the lease having it out for that. No, but no, we do fun. the barbecues every week it's out on there. The roof. Yeah, it's and fun. it turns out, yeah, you can barbecue a pizza. You can use the grill mm-hmm. to warm up a That's frozen brilliant. pizza. That and so we like did the DiGiorno idea. buffalo chicken stuffed crust on the grill. Delicious. Andy. Andy Cortez, come here. What's your review of this pizza? Give me a 30 that was, second was review was of the, the DiGiorno yeah, the grill DiGiorno pizza I made. stuffed crust mm. buffalo chicken pizza. I was stunned at the quality of this pizza. I really was like, I, you know, you're not expecting much. I, I really just wanted the meat, right? You were making sure. buffalo believe, chicken. Buffalo no, I think you were making ribs. I oh, think. you're talking about the rest of the barbecue. Like, yes, yeah, I'll give this fucking slice a shot. The quality of the crust, the crispness, the fucking crunch was just stellar. It was yeah, unheard of. Crispity, crunchy. Transcendent. I, I, I can see in your eyes like the passion. Yeah, yeah he really the, uh, believes this. I got like a he got yeah. a, little, a little bit of that. Damn. To have a stock there. Nice. He felt okay. it way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got his six inches. Yeah. 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 No, but that's the thing. Now, and that's why it's interesting because we're jumping to the full circle here of like, then this topic came up from Alex of like, what about frozen pizzas? And to sit there and think about it, that was a delicious frozen pizza. And I'm not just suckling, suckling the dick here. Suckling that suckling dick. That suckling DiGiorno the DiGiorno dick. dick. You know what I mean? Because as well. <laughs> but it was. It was good. And it, then, it, but then it was like, I did the thing of like running through. I remember for me, frozen pizzas go. I remember just doing tombstones. I remember my parents starting to shop. I think Omni, the Omni grocery store instead of Jewel Osco, which then <laughs> sold Jack's pizzas. Maybe this is Walmart. Jack's pizzas. Jack's frozen knockoff d- tombstones. They weren't nearly as good. Plus, you're starting to get of age where you want real pizza. Like you, I can go out. We can get, somebody can drive all this different stuff. Then shout out to the Chicago suburbs for having home run in frozen pizzas. Home run in dynamite Chicago local chain of pizza restaurants. And then they started selling their pizzas in the frozers the case. Top notch. It's, it's almost as good as going there. It's the it's the frozen pizza I've had where it's like holy shit this tastes just like it because Shakespeare's pizza in Columbia Missouri they do frozen and they ship around the world or whatever or the United States they're good they're not nearly as good as Shakespeare's you know what I mean mm-hmm. and then there's like the gap of I remember when we went to college you brought up the Tostino's people usually think pizza rolls yeah. I they also did Tostino's party pizzas they did these little pizzas that were there's pillow- no pizza like a party pizza. pillowy bread Ain't pizzas no pizza that like my friend Kyle would cook and then sit there and he Kyle's a skinny motherfucker he would just sit there watching the the blue or the blues or the, the St. Louis Cardinals play with the thing on it and then slowly eat it like slowly like slowly just chew it up into his mouth yeah they're not <laughs> cut disgusting. up their whole yeah yeah and, uh, you check the ingredient list there's no there's no food product oh no no it. it's all chemicals pure sodium yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, chemicals yeah. there's no real cheese and I remember one you know I remember weekends where like I would just eat all of his party pizzas just the entire weekend but they were they were fine for what college was and then i want to say there was a blackout period where i wasn't eating many frozen pizzas but then a renaissance <laughs> i love this show so much a renaissance of the frozen pizza came around when <laughs> i started eating the paul newman's newman own frozen pizza oh, now that is actually that's pretty good right and Can that was a legit one and nothing too fancy and no, weird. I'm, no. I, it was either cheese or it was pepperoni i'm no, not i'm yeah. not here to re- reinvent the wheel here There's no, no cpk involved in this oh no no no, no. So come on now so come on now come on now and so it was that i would take them from you know i had them oh, there CPK. They're not good. Yeah. No. How dare you even mention that? It's really different. Are you talking about the CPK is that you buy at the store? Yeah, yeah. Not oh, going into a CPK ones. and getting going a pizza. Going into a CPK, it's CPK, fine. It's a thing. But it's, it's not experience. a pizza, sure. per se. Yeah, I mean. They yeah. do have a good buffalo chicken. at a pizza restaurant. I honestly, there was like one with hoisin sauce on it that's I guess they pretty good. Pizza kitchen. I don't know. Well, I think Ming, I, is, Ming is like. Yeah, I'm laughing at you. I'm shaking my head. Oh, I can't. Yeah. See, the can't. CBK thing falls into similar of like a Panda Express. Exactly. Or it's a different. It's a different. Outback no. Steakhouse like, of exactly. like, well, we got to eat somewhere. Do not. This is here. I'm not. Do not. Now. We're not. We're not doing that. Great. I'm just saying Outback Steakhouse has been very good to us. Thank you. I enjoyed my steak. Quite I thank did, too. You. I talked a lot of shit about how much you guys went there. Now, granted, I think three times a week going out back for dinner was a bit much when you it and Kevin were on that line. It was just one week. That it was we did one that. week. Paul, I don't believe that for a second. Just one week. Just one week three uh, times. But the, the, you guys, uh, I've been won over. I'm, sur- I'm sure somebody clip it out and send it to her. That's I'm just fair. trying to defend it. That was a long time ago. Kevin was a different man. But then, so then, then I, I want to give <laughs> similar to the whole DiGiorno thing was always the freschetta. Freshetta oh, had the good yeah. commercials. Their pieces were all right, but I thought DiGiorno was always mm. the uh, the upper Shit. crust of that argument. Oh, yeah. do we, oh, oh wow. do we, wrap it up. We're do done. we loop in? Um, and I was in the bathroom for a second, so you may have talked about this, but like the bagel pizzas that you could we get. Did we, out, did. we did bring up. We did bring up bagel yeah. bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tim covered it well. Bagel, yeah. bite, <laughs> bagel bites also. That's the same thing too. Not good. No, but I mean it was again, just like, no, hey, I can eat these. It reminds me of like got cheese and sauce. I mean, they're legit. Yeah, exactly. Earlier we were talking about the chips and dip, yeah, and that whole conundrum of like, what's what's the whole point? It is just the vessel for pizza. Sure. And everyone loves fucking bagels, right? You take the bagel, you take the pizza. 
they're good. They're, you're going to have yeah. a good time. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Big fan. Yeah. Big fan overall. Yeah. Greg, I had a moment with you, and this happens every once in a while. I'll have a good show. moment with you. But I was looking at you, and you started talking, and you did the whole thing where you just kept talking and talking. There's a lot of details. You, you got your keep six giving, inches. You just keep giving more details. You start mentioning a bunch of friends' names. You start mentioning all these like places from the suburbs of Chicago, and you just keep going. And it reaches a point, this happens every maybe like three months, where like I start thinking about like, Wait, am I keeping up with this right? No. Then I then I lose track. Yeah. You keep talking. I'm just looking at you, okay. and then uh, then it just ends somewhere. Oh, yeah, and I'm that like, whole Midwest right. thing with yeah. the restaurants and the stores. It was home run in. Man. See, if you're in the Chicago suburbs, go to home run in. They also do a pizza buffet. Say magnifique. Same I started to lose it right around Kyle, that skinny fuck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Kyle, that brought me back. I'm like, hey, okay, cool. That was a, that there's was a character name. Got there's it. a character yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering with if there's this. a white hen pantry next to that whole Fuck name. yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, hear, I hear you, dude. White hen pantry, I, you, I called every day for like two weeks because eventually they were eventually because I wanted the Rolling Stone that had Jennifer Aniston naked on the cover. The library oh. had it because they were subscribers, so they had it early. So then I just called the white hen over and over again. Finally, one day they had it. Rode my bike over there and got it. Now speaking of porn, let's get back to frozen pizzas. Oh, wow, <laughs> I think I believe it was uh, Mike Boylan. Somebody doesn't matter. Brought a whole bunch of porno mags they stole from their brothers to Wait, our, the, our house one time. Okay. okay, mom and dad are at work. What we're, caliber are we talking about? Penthouse. Okay. All right, oh, we're so and we're geez, seventh, eighth grade, somewhere in there, maybe ish, maybe sixth, somewhere in there. But you know, youngins. Yeah. And so they're down there. I'm up there. And that's a lot for a youngin. Oh yeah, There's yeah. There's things you're gonna see in there that you probably we weren't ready don't know for. anything about. We weren't ready for yeah. it. This is how it works. This is what it looks like. All right. Yep. But I was dispatched. I was dispatched to get pizzas <laughs> and make the pizzas. So I went up there and I put a tombstone in there. Possibly a Jack's party pizza. Who knows? Oh. Again, this is I, what in the are my parents going to Walmart or are they still using tombstone from Jewel Osco? I don't know. I'm not there to say, Tim. I'm not it there happened to say. again. You don't, it know, happened what, you don't again. know what week it was. <laughs> open the pizza's done and the timer goes off. I open it. Pull it out, burn my little pudgy hand on the oh, pan. Sorry. Scream fuck, toss the pizza in the air, falls oh, face first on the thing, right? Clean it up, throw it away, put the other one in there, finally go back downstairs. In addition, like it's been 40 minutes now, right? With yeah. all these pizzas, I bring them down for everybody. Like, oh, and I'm like, sorry about that. I didn't even hear me scream. Nobody came to check on me when mm -hmm. I yelled fuck. These kids were so into their porn mm -hmm. that no one heard me burn my hand and throw a pizza on the ground. We've all been there. We've been on both sides. Yeah. You know, I get it. The, the burning for the, the, Frozen pizzas, that's a real thing. Sure. I've had so many friends injured for life based on this. My ex-girlfriend, three separate burns just across her arms from freaking yeah. frozen pizzas. That's a pizza burn. You'd think you'd you learn. Know. You know that You line. know it's that yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. Three separate ones. Yeah. Right. Got to bring your top. You got to bring your rack out of the top sh shelf. Put it in the oh, middle. man. Yeah. No, she, you, sure. you would think she'd learn. She never learned. She just kept doing it, but she was always happy with the pizza. She never oh, blamed good. the pizza. Okay, good, 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 good. for you. Because that's the type of thing that like taints your experience. It's operator. But not for frozen pizza. Well, that's the thing about frozen pizza is your bar is already so low. Well, it's like, okay, I feel like that, the burn, the the burn for the frozen pizza is similar to the mouth burn for the yeah. real pizza. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, mm -hmm. it's never worth it, but it's always worth it. You know? You ruin that first bite. is going to ruin up the, the rest meal. of your yep. meal. That first bite's good. But it's good. still just as good. Like, the whole thing, you're still just like, oh, my God, this pizza. I love pizza. Yeah. I mean, you got something to say? I feel like you got cut off. Oh, no, I love pizza, too. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I want to no. make you guys pizza. I'd love that. Oh, yeah, let's do Here's it. Here's the deal. I'll make you I would, pizza. Kevin I would too. love that. And Andy. I, and, and Cool Greg. My, uh, just floating around. my mom makes homemade pizza. This is Greg. Now, we don't make the dough, so no, we're not yeah. that Then I may not make it for you. That's the whole but thing. I would love to help out with that. Because I know your last name, and so I don't want to oh, no, compete look with it. My thing is, I'm in I'm in to win it. I would love to help, is what I'm trying to say. I like... Rolling out the dough. That's my favorite part. He's I really used good to at be, it. I used to make pizza when I was 16 <laughs> at an Italian restaurant. Do you throw it? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh yeah. I, I don't throw it. I like. I, it's a whole process for me. First yeah. off, once the dough is made, I roll it into a ball, right? Get it, nice and, get it nice and set. You form it? You form it. You let it rise a little bit. Then you can roll it out, throw it, boom, centripetal yep. force. It's perfect. I taught Greg how to do it. His pizza game went from... I would Non-existent. Say, I would say a C to an A minus now. Wow. Sometimes it gets a little, you, you take some picture, I'm like, that's a little off. Well, I want you to show I can me tell how to throw. You didn't let it rise enough. No, nah, that's never the problem. I no. want to learn how to throw, yeah. I'll teach you how to throw. The only issue I get easy. sometimes is if I've split the, split the dough to mm -hmm. make two pizzas. Too much, yeah. And then I've got one that's frozen, and I take it out. you got to really let it come up. you got to let it come up, yeah. Otherwise, Otherwise you're just kind of pushing yeah, at you're it. you're fighting it. You're fighting too the crust. Too much. And then the kids complain. <laughs> oh, fucking kids. Seriously. Oh, don't, you you don't. make your own pizza then. Best thing to do, though. And this is something my mom still hasn't picked up, no matter how much I tell her. I'm like, you have to weigh the dough. 
you've got to figure out how much dough goes into what. Otherwise, mm. you do what my mom does, which is one pizza is really thick because oh. we had to fold in the edges, and the other one's like bare, like the thinnest crust yeah. possible. Oh, yeah. Imagine you pick it up and everything's. I just falls make one through. batch and split it even, Steven. Smart. Smart. And then yeah, one goes in the ba- in the freezer, and the other one goes out to proof. There it is. <laughs> I use Batali. I use Batali's recipe too. It's got a little bit of wine in it, a little oh, bit of honey. Okay, oh, it's good. Yeah, Bam, real good. it's good. Yeah, man. I want the Gavin party pizza, man. Yeah, when man. do we? When yeah, do we? How long you in town? <laughs> I, have to, I, have to, I have to stay for the Amari Kart tournament. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 we got a cash now. We got a yeah. cash, and I'll send you home with fresh eggs because I got seven chickens. Jesus Christ! Well, what, what doesn't this guy? I don't know. I don't know. This guy do? It is a lot of chickens. You're living a life. Do you write poetry? I got six cats. Close enough. They don't eat the chicken. Close enough. I don't write poetry. I can I can do haikus, but not on the spot. Okay, <laughs> that's a good good call. I'll say that because you know Greg Miller's next like, thing. Go, haiku. Go. Final part of this topic mm-hmm. before we switch over to the final topic mm-hmm. is a shout out to one John Campione. Camps mm-hmm. once made a frozen pizza at a sleepover. Had this wooden tray that was like for breakfast in bed or whatever. I'm all and I'm I'm a dumb kid, but I'm all alone and I'm with my friends or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like dishes that much. So why? Because you're cooking. You know, some, some co- pizzas you want to cook just on the rack, not on a pizza pie plate, mm-hmm. just on the rack. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I pulled it off there, put it onto the wooden uh, tray. Oh, yeah. You know, what I went down there. I like we cut like. it up there. Pe- we all started eating. And we're like. This tastes like varnish. This ta- this is <laughs> the heat of this is taking the varnish. It feels like out of this board. Now, granted, we're all dumb kids. We don't know what varnish actually tastes like, but right. it smells like what you know. It, it doesn't taste right. No. It has so much attributes of the wood now, mm-hmm. and we all stopped eating except John Campione, who ate the entire pizza, and he was high for a week. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> On he's now expect- expecting his second kid. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. varnish var- infused yeah. pizza. Yeah. Dumb kids, they grow up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Make Final more. topic, mm-hmm. Nicholas. Movies you should have seen. And I'll give you an example. I'm ashamed to say I have not seen Schindler's List. Oh, it comes man. up maybe once every three months in yeah. conversation around it, around really? a lot of a lot of more often than you think. We're big I fans do a lot of, of Jewish people here, so we, we talk are. about yeah. it. Nick, Nick's no, a movie, movie guy. It's that's movie. The, that's yeah, why. I'm a movie guy. I recently um, did a couple episodes of the Schmodown, um, which is a show on Collider's network on YouTube. And one of the top one of the questions was a Schindler's List question. And when you're amongst a bunch, what of was people, it? What was it? Was it like super easy? It like was, this character oh, in Schindler List is the only one in color. That was the question. Yep. Yeah. That was the question. And I guessed and I got it right. Thank really? God. Yeah. I got it. I was like, I have to guess because I can't let Is it, it multiple choice? Yeah. The, well, you um, can pick multiple choice for less for less uh, points. points. Um, and I picked multiple choice the entire time because I'm like, it's easier. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those movies that I really, at this point, really, sh- as a film buff, really probably should see. Yeah. And good. I've just gotten. Great finds is great in it. I've just gotten to a Creepy. point where I'm Awful. like. Maybe I just won't watch it. Maybe I'm just like it's no, gone too far, and I just got to keep going. Just go through it. I, you I would you're put never that on watch it again. When you know, I was at a, yeah. at IGN, the reason I watched it was I when I was an intern, I had to do cl- get a bunch of clips for the hundred best movie moments. Mm. So a lot of that I ended up just going one of the capture bays and just watching movies. And uh, Schindler's List was one of them where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. It. Everyone's talked about this for mm-hmm. so long, and I'm like, it's a damn good movie. It's one of those ones I never want to watch it again. Sure, but it was sure. a, it's a damn good movie. It affects you. It I'm does. Guess on your skin. Another one that I just recently started watching. Harry but, and the uh, f- No. God, I love Harry <laughs> and the Henderson. Harry and the Henderson is a movie I don't watch anymore because when I was a child, it made me cry so badly. I'm when like, I can't do this right? anymore. Yeah, I can't. I'm like, fuck you, John Lithgow. Yep. Um, but speaking of John Lithgow, <laughs> I just started watching Buckaroo Banzai for the first time. Oh. I have never seen this film before. What is that? Is Peter Murphy, too. Uh, Peter Weller, Weller is yeah. the main character. It's got Jeff, Jeff Goldblum in it. Um, yeah. John Lithgow is, I guess, a bad guy. And it's just a host of other people that you're like, I know Christopher Lloyd's in it as a bad guy. It is a very strange movie, but it is mm-hmm. a movie that you've I've heard of forever, and it's finally on Amazon Prime, and I'm like, I'll give this a watch. The main character is a br- neurosurgeon slash samurai slash rock and roll slash scientist, like inventor. How and he, have I not seen and this? he goes. It's called Buckaroo Banzai. Yeah. Uh, is there's a full the, title. Dimension, in the eighth dimension. Eighth dimension through the eighth yeah. dimension, like that. So he basically opens up by accident a portal to the eighth dimension. It's a little bit of a convoluted plot. I'm not quite sure I grasp the intricacies of it. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those movies that a lot of people like. It's a cult classic, mm. and a lot of people love. And I'm like, I should watch this film. So I want to know if there's anything you guys are ashamed to admit you haven't seen. Or if you can think of anything off the top of your head. And does this include books, video games, Whatever all you stuff? Want. If, if the movies are too too narrow minded. No, no, I was you. just wondering. I was yeah. just wondering what I mean. I, I feel like for me the list would be so long. I wouldn't yeah. even know where to begin. I, I lack so much classic movie knowledge. Mm-hmm. Like I, I've seen a whole bunch of garbage. 
Sure, but I, I haven't seen a lot of these. <laughs> we've oh, seen, like we've Daddy's all, Home? Daddy's Home? Yeah. I haven't seen Daddy's Home. No. Oh, you should watch it. It's this great movie with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Oh, my the, God. The oh, plot wow. is oh, genius. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg is the stepfather. Yeah. I have missed out no, on Dirty Grandpa as well. That one you so. did fuck up on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Watch Dirty, yeah. Grandpa. Dirty Grandpa. That is a classic. Mm. Mm. I mean, for me, I, I think like Blade Runner. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what you people's usually reaction oh, to it. But I, I remember the time where I was like, all right, I'm going to watch Blade Runner. I'm like, which one do I watch? And like, there was like, well, this version, that version, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do this. Yeah. Some of them aren't available here. Some of them, I'm like, I don't, this is complicated. I don't care. Yeah, enough. You need you gotta, someone who's be like, watch see the, one the director's with cut the thumbs, and go. Where you see the thumbs. You got to go see through that. his eyes. Yeah. You yeah. got to yeah. see yeah. the It's a good scene. The thumb. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. All the Star Trek movies. Besides the reboot. The new ones? Yeah. Really? I've never seen any oh, Star Trek movies. None of the classic wow. ones. No, no Rat the Con. No, no, no Search for No the Con. No The Voyage None Home. The Whale. What was it yeah. called? The Voyage Home. Oh, yeah. The, there was the Voyage the, Home. No, but the Grace free whale. The, name, the name of the ship. Was Enterprise. It? No. Whale. There was something. It's good. Maru. Bats Maru. Oh, the Kobayashi Maru. Kobayashi Maru. Kobayashi Maru. Kobayashi Maru. Kobayashi Maru. Oh, yeah. Bats Maru is one of Kuropi's friends. Yeah, there you go. That's, wait, which one was Kobayashi Maru? Was that Rat the Con? Yeah, I thought that was one with the whales. Yep. What's that? I, I could have sworn that was no, one the, the one with the whale. No, that's see, the, I only know it from pop culture references. So maybe the home. yeah, mm. where they're stuck in the eighties in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. they're yes. here. They're here. Genius. Yeah. And they filmed. It's hilarious. They filmed in my neighborhood uh, that I live in now, the marina. And they like when he's in the car sequence where he's driving in the car with her. Yeah, they're actually in a parking lot. Nice. I didn't realize that. Just I was like, where the fuck circles. is that? And then I looked and I was like, oh, they're in a parking lot. That's hilarious. I'm going to Google classic movies. Classic. I mean, so, there's tons. Well, you're going like to get, you're get like, what? Well, like, have you ever Bird. seen Casablanca? Have you ever seen Gone with the Wind? Things See, like that. The, the thing is, film school gives you all those. Yeah, you saw those. It's like freebies. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, James Bond movies. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You've only seen The World Is Not Enough. The World Is Not Enough. <laughs> really? I've never, seen, I've never seen any of the newer ones. With, oh, uh, Daniel with Craig? Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. seen all the Roger Moore. Love those. The Daniel Craig on ones, oh, yeah. they're good. It's a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> but overall, they're they're good movies, I would say. It's just at this point, I feel like there's been more bad than good. Yeah, well, it's been there's been four, and I think two of them, I think, are, are generally upheld as good, and two of them are not so good, yeah. unfortunately. It's all the uh, the first and the third I think everyone loves. The second and fourth. The second was Not oof. so much. Well, that was during the writer's strike. You can't really... Can't fault him for that. Oh, yeah. It looks like we're heading into another yeah, one of those. Uh, I've not seen The Godfather. Really? Oh, any, wow. of the, any of the three. So oh, I think wow. it's been built up so much that I'm like, ooh, what, a, what if I watch it and it sucks? No, you don't like it. Suck, suck, it but, okay. won't suck. It's good. But uh, yeah, I, I hear. I just, um, I'm afraid, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that one will hold up because yep. that was one that I, I hadn't seen. It was overhyped for me and then yeah. I saw it in, in college and yeah. I was like, it is. It's spectacular, especially two. One, one to two. One and two are amazing. All three, about it. three. That you don't do necessarily without. need three. Yeah. Sins. You don't need three. You can just watch one and two. Sorry, I mean, but I mean, Godfather's on probably every top five list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no I haven't question. seen it, so I think it's time. I think it's time. I think you've inspired me. Good. There okay. you go. Go back to your I, hotel I, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, thank you for not shaming seven me. Seven hours. Oh no, no. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I Greg like hasn't seen Blade Runner. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> the biggest offender of all time was up until about six months ago, I hadn't seen Pulp Fiction. Oh, oh yeah. Man. And right. that that's a shame because I am a huge Tarantino fan and yeah. I am a huge yeah. Samuel L. Jackson fan, at least based off the work that I've seen of them. It's mm -hmm. the best. It's the best, I think, of his movies. I See, my thing is, I think the movie was ruined for me because of all the pop culture references. Oh, that yeah. I had. Like, I've seen the movie... Over time, through memes, from, through, through, the Simpsons. through memes and yeah. references yeah. and things. Say what again, motherfucker? So that or as I watched it, I was kind of like just waiting for the other that. parts to come up instead of totally enjoying the movie that. for what it was. And I uh, the gimp. I'm like I think that uh, Django Unchained is probably my mm. still mm. number one movie of all time. I, I have not seen that. that. Wow, it's good. It's good. What, when we said this though, what jumped to your mind? What's was what movie? I've never seen any of the Saw movies. Yeah, I yeah. love that that's where you go. Yeah. You should change that. Watch at least one through three. They're really? fantastic. At least really? one well, through three. Here's the thing. Well, because that's the thing. Just like, watch how many songs are there? There's, there's seven. Oh uh, and God. they're making a new one this year. But You don't uh, need to watch all those. Well, the thing is, I would say, like, it's if you like horror um, and you like twists. Nah. Like my, I'm a big twist guy. Like I like I, twists, what a twist. but I don't like horror. I'd especially, I'm not a torture porn guy. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, that's the issue. Saw is a torture porn thing. You need to get through that for, for the story and the cool shit to, to be mm. worth it. And it, it's a push. It definitely is. Because yeah, I'm yeah. not a big torture porn guy either. No. But I, I would bear it to see the twist that they would do. Because Saw 1 through 3, they did such a good job. And then it kind of gets a little, yeah. Very, yeah. Yeah. But I stuck through it. 
I'm running through my head. I'm trying. It's hard to run. You know, this is a weird yeah. question of what don't you know? Yeah. What, what haven't you watched? You guys seen <laughs> Citizen Kane? Who hasn't seen Citizen Kane? I've seen Kane. Citizen Kane, yeah, a couple uh, times. We had to watch that I one have. in film school. That yeah, was another yeah. one of those, like, I don't think I'm going to like this. And then you fall in love with it. You're like, wow, that was pretty. It was an amazing How about achievement. Kubrick movies between 2001. Never yeah. saw 2001. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah. 2001. The end, I mean, the end is for me. Who knows yeah, who what knows? the hell happens there? Well, they left out some stuff from the book, apparently. Um, but I never read the book. 2001 is one of the, another one of those that I, I had seen when I was a kid. I think barely a little bit. And I think the reason why I realized that I probably had didn't watch the whole thing was when I came back and watched it as an adult. I was like, wow, yeah. this movie's so fucking slow. It, it is, is really so slow. slow. I, I can imagine myself seeing it as a kid but going it's nope. space. It's supposed to be. It was space, but yeah. the first shot you see is like. The slow moving ship, yep. And then the next one you see is the girl, the woman walking, right. yeah. And then the pen floating, and it's like, wow, that's really cool. They could do that, but by today's standards, you're like, yeah, there are no lightsabers. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is. I mean, it's yeah, one of those. It's one of those films where you're means. like, we're just gonna sit on this beautiful image for way too long, yeah. yeah. You know, and then we're gonna go to this next beautiful image and sit for way too long. And it's amazing. Um, but I recently watched that, and it's another one of those I'm ashamed to say that I'm like, I fell asleep. I had to come back the next night and finish it. Oh, wow. I'm an old man. I get old man, uh, an old man back, so I got to rest that every once in a while. I watched <laughs> Singing in the Rain for the first time oh, a yeah. couple yeah. months ago. That's fantastic. I was high off La La Land. Yeah, you oh, and I was yeah. like, all right. Yeah, you wanted to see this how it was thing. really yeah. done. Yeah, and I'm like, all right. And then uh, it was in theaters for like a one night only thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, cool, let's Phantom go. Phantom events. And, uh, Phantom yeah, events exactly. And we watched it, and I'm like, all right, it, it was good. It was definitely good. Uh, I haven't seen um, West Side Story. Oh, that's the thing that I've heard so many many really good. Good. but I've never actually seen it. That's great. Uh, Apocalypse Now. Oh, really? Yeah. That was another one I watched at IGN when I shouldn't have been watching him. That one's great. It's, not, it's far-fetched just because he's so fat. Yes. It's hard to believe, you know, Brando. <laughs> a man living out in the middle of the yeah, jungle. Yeah, kind of like, wow, man, really? Wasn't that a thing they got in a fight about when he yeah, got Yeah, they did not he like showed it. up fat. And they're all, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I guess we'll <laughs> shoot you in the dark mostly. Yeah, we'll, just put you, we'll put you in a, a basically a tent around yeah. you and just shoot you in the dark. And you can talk about the colors. 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 I guess this is a hard question to answer. I've never seen it? A Clockwork Orange. Ooh. Really? Yeah. yeah. I read the book. Yeah. But it seemed like it was going to be too heavy for me. No, the movie is very heavy, but it's awesome. It's very beautifully done. Yeah, I bet. And it's very, uh, the casting I've of it. I've seen a lot of shots from it. Fun fact, um, the guy David Prowse, the guy that played Darth Vader, yeah, yeah mm. as one of the bad guys in, with the in the yeah. actually he's one of the rival gangs, not not the. No, not he's the, not a bad guy. He's like the protector, of the one guy, right? No, he's Ray. Th- f- oh, maybe maybe I'm getting this wrong. I feel like he was one of the guys that was like raping the girl, and they but, come in and yeah, beat the he, shit out of him. No, but that's he's a rival gang member, right? Wasn't no, he? I think or that's was his he? gang. He oh. becomes the cop afterwards. Oh, and maybe then they right. Beat the shit out of him, and that's why you probably thought it was rival. Maybe, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. That's mm. a great one. That's a great Kubrick film. I've never seen a Rocky movie. Whoa. Whoa dude. A whole Rocky movie. Okay. I've wow. seen all the Rocky movies in bits and pieces. The thing, but I've never from start to stat, finish watched, watched, watched Rocky movies. You should Rocky sit down. Rocky 1 is fucking amazing. Rocky really 1 is, is, is one of movie. the best movies ever made. And a lot of people, especially a lot of young people, who's, who you're only touched on Rocky, is either like the later years Rocky or Creed. <laughs> By the way, shout out to Creed. Creed was Creed great. Was good, yeah. uh, but Rocky 1 was a real accomplishment. And you get, it's unfortunate because you think back to Rocky and you think, Fighting Ivan Drago, fighting Mr. T, Clever this, Lang, Clever Lang. You know this, these movies that became very formulaic and like Rocky's gonna get, he's oh he's losing and then he has to train hard and come back to it. But the first one was not about that. The first Rocky is very much just about him proving to himself that he's not a piece of shit. And that's all he wanted to do. Yeah. And it's very very it's a really well made movie. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, so. I've watched most of it. I just never watched it. In if you go back order. and sit, I bet you'd probably be like, oh, wait, I don't remember any of this. Because I, be, really? I bet you think Rocky 2 or Rocky mm. 3 or 4 or 5. Mm. You might not remember Interesting. Rocky 1 specifically. Although Rocky 3 is rad because of the whole Thunder Lips and you know, oh, with Hulk Hogan? and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. It's parody, but it's fun. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, you know, you get, you get a good sense of how much bigger <laughs> that man was oh, than yeah, yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Interesting. Yeah, Blade Runner is probably the number one that, that a lot of people ought to have seen, but haven't right. seen. For I mean, I watch Blade Runner, and to me, it still looks. How do you, are you excited fantastic. about the sequel? Yeah. No, neither of you are. Nah, I, it was oh, just so well you. done that yeah, I just I don't, don't know. Awesome. Leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, stop exactly. doing this. Well, it's kind of like Covenant, you know, or with Alien, because mm-hmm. it's like for me, I mean, Alien is still one of the creepiest, like 
atmospheric horror movies I've ever seen. And mm-hmm. mostly it's just because of Ash, you know, and it's like mm-hmm. Ian Holm mm-hmm. jam that that. magazine at her yeah. throat, you know, Fuck. and it's like that is fucking I'm terrifying. Fuck that. Where does your brain go? You're like, I'm gonna kill this person by making her choke yeah, on I'm this magazine. I'm just gonna just ram this down her throat. Well, he's a robot. Yeah. So I mean, that's the thing that it's so dark and weird that I don't know that I don't know because it seems like they're just remaking it. Right. The well, there is. Yeah. Is I think Alien. they're sort of. It's they're kind of looking at look what they did with Prometheus and going, let's see. I let's didn't see Prometheus. Do this mm-hmm. again. The aliens but weird I did though. Like, I feel like that's Tivo. a franchise that they just just keep going with just because it's a name. Well, they they made two that were great, and three was shit, and then oh. I think it the sucked, fourth dude. was... Oh, dude, come on. I mean, they say fuck in that movie probably more times than every other movie combined. Well, they're mostly I British. I swear to God. And I think mostly British no, people. No, like they're, they're the guys in the prison or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're in prison. Yeah. They're going to swear a lot, I guess. Yeah. That one had potential. That had oh, the potential to be something the, really well, cool. The fourth one was like the rebirth one. That's the one. Right? Winona Ryder. Rider. Winona Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Jesus. I feel like they're bringing a little bit more... Yeah, that was right. Yeah, Not also. Bad. No, garbage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Thing. I never saw The Thing. Oh, oh yeah. I like horror, too. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. One good. That one's really How good. Do you, let me ask you all. I'll throw out creepy. a lot of Carpenter movies, and sure. I'll tell you if you eat something. Oh, seen. yeah. The Thing. Obviously not. Escape from New York. Mm, yeah, <gasps> but as a kid. Oh. I've never seen you Escape are the from Duke New York. Of New York. Yeah. Really? Is that the Snake Plissken movie? Yeah. Yes. I've never seen it. Snake yeah, it's one Plissken. of the Snake Plissken movies. They decided to remake it and call it Escape from L.A. That was garbage. Which was the exact same movie. That's a sequel. Literally. That's a sequel, it is a sequel, it is but a it's sequel. pretty much the exact same oh, movie. Oh, we're surfing. But, yeah, but, but with yeah, California. Yeah, it's got surfing, right? Yeah. He surfs that. He does. Yeah. I mean, Peter Fonda's yeah. there. It was like well. Surf Ninjas and Three Ninjas. Exactly oh like that. God. There was maybe a turtle in there that was radioactive. I don't know. Big Trouble Little China. Pizza. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Really? Overrated. Yeah. But again, that's the movie I saw as a kid. It totally holds up. Just never was like, yeah. I watched it, it recently because I was yeah. talking shit about it too. Because I was like, I don't know. I was talking shit. Yeah. I watched it recently. It still totally holds it's up. It's one of those I need to go back. I remember being a kid watching it. And I think I liked it. I liked the scary part where he explodes or whatever. And like that was yeah. like something that was like those what I was three built guys, up for. like the three elements guys, are just awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever seen Chinatown? Awesome. Chinatown with Jack Nicholson? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. I read the script for it too. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I haven't it's seen one it of those like two detective movies. movies. Yeah, it no, seems okay. like another like kind of de- murder mystery. Is it, it's based on a book, I believe, and I I want to say it's a Raymond Chandler book, but I don't think. Yeah, that. might have won oh, an Oscar. And I, <laughs> yeah, it's a, a, yeah, it's a, it's huh. a classic. It's Whatever, a classic look at those to anybody. Suicide Squad. Is it a Chandler based on a? I don't know. I looked at it. Hey, Kevin, can you look up what Chinatown was based off of? Sure. Wasn't it a Deep Throat situation? Like there was a lot of like the, porn? there was something like that. Deep Throat, like the porn or Deep Throat the uh, no. You're saying Chinatown was based on a Deep Throat situation? Yeah. Of an informant? No, yeah. I think you might be thinking about uh, All the President's Men, which was based on the Watergate scandal, yep, 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 yep. which is another movie that, if you haven't seen, I hadn't seen, and I watched it, and I'm like, fuck, this is really good. I saw that one. I yeah. Hmm. Not a dead space in this topic. I did not realize. Well, you got to yeah, think. Okay. I don't yeah. think it's, I don't I think think it's a think dead space. Topic. Yeah, I've never seen 12 Angry Men, speaking of. Oh, it's um, so men. good. Yeah, I should see that. I unfortunately saw 12 Monkeys. Oh, yeah. I did not like 12 I'm Monkeys. I'm a huge Nights Gillian fan. Mm-hmm. Although I've never seen Brazil. Real, I, I tried watching mind. Brazil. That's another one of those movies that I'm like, through. I can't get through. I've tried it too, yeah. But did you see um, Time Bandits? Oh, yeah. Grew up on that. That movie I've got scared the, the shit out of me when I was a kid. I've map in... Uh, really? In our, our exercise room, yeah. Oh, wow. That movie, I was... I have I, a t-shirt, but you can't see it. It's just garbage, but it's supposed to be the map. Yeah. I love that movie. Wow. That's one of my very favorite films that is a uh, that's one of those movies that i'm like because of the ending specifically i was like oh, i yeah. never want to watch this movie oh, ever dude, again I love it the ending. So it's so british it's so british it's like yeah you know is it the firefighter was sean connery and he's like there you are and he's he's gone yeah bye this. your house just burned down so, yeah. Yeah. yeah parents are god like, good luck shit. yeah god. is it a kid yeah. yeah, I don't even know what the movie's about. They, oh, the movie, it's great. The movie's fucking crazy. You should watch it. I it's, can't remember exactly what happens, trip. but it's basically like, what happens to put him on the journey of okay, being so with these bandits? He lives at a time gate. He lives at like one of these little spots. There's all these little spots throughout the universe and throughout time that are like little portals where doors open up periodically and you can travel between them. So Kevin's this kid. He lives in, a, in his room. And then one night, there's like this rattling and stuff and this horse just smashes through Jesus. the closet and then goes riding down this wall behind his bed, but it's not a wall, it's like a forest. And so he goes riding down this forest, and then he turns and like, everything's fine. Everything's back to normal. And then like, the next night, like, these guys show up. Like, he hears these noise, and like, these guys kind of come out of the closet, Mm. and it's these six dwarves. 
And they're like these robbers who've basically stolen this map from the supreme being to in order to do robberies, in order to like rob all these different famous people throughout time. And then evil, who's Satan or whatever you want to say, is after it too because it gives him ultimate power. So he can rework the universe in his own image. This it's is fantastic. It. This is the 80s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I fucking love it. Hell yeah. 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 I love how yeah. in the 90s it was Indian in the Cupboard and Page Master, <sighs> mm. where it's just like all it has to do is just like little things come alive, but yeah. it's always friendly and oh, cool. No. Yeah, this was crazy. And it's British too, so it's incredibly funny. Yeah, I feel like Time Bandits is also Time Bandits. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'm looking through this the wrong way, but I feel like the love 80s, it. like, the, like, We've gotten more censored as we go with like what is acceptable for to oh, put yeah. in front of kids because the eighties I feel like there was a whole subsect of quote unquote fantasy movies that yeah. could have fuck. been kids movies but were fucking terrifying. Oh, like yeah. Dark Crystal yeah. was terrifying. Oh, Dark Crystal. Labyrinth sure. was fucking terrifying. Yeah. Fucking yeah. terrifying. Yeah. 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 Dick is the scariest thing I've so ever seen. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> one of the Good best Lord. dicks ever. That's another one I think a lot of people have heard of but have never seen, which is Labyrinth. Oh, I have Labyrinth. to go back and watch Labyrinth. Labyrinth is like it's Legend. a trip to watch. Jennifer Conley. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was also like I always got that one. I always wanted it to be Labyrinth, but it was always Legend, starring Tom Cruise. Remember oh, yeah. that one? I swear, I love that movie. That held up. It's a great movie. Tim Curry as you know, as darkness the devil or evil, yeah, or whatever, whatever it was. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. awesome. It was. It was and you, I mean, I didn't know it was him forever because no. he's like so right. made up. He's got these ginormous horns. He's crazy. Um, and then uh, shout out to I, I think it was Mia Sarah who played yeah. Sloan in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's right. She was in the only other Legend. movie yeah, I know, I've right? ever seen her in. Yeah, yeah. God, I need to watch Legend. That's Legend. Wait, no, you saw you saw Time Cop. I bet she's in that. Oh, she is in Time Cop. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you right. haven't yeah. seen Time Cop. No. Jean-Claude that's the most Graham? egregious. Of, I, is it really? Uh, yeah. It's probably one of, if not the last great Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. Oh, come on. It, it, after Time Cop, it kind of started going Jean-Claude downhill. Is that a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? Time Cop. Cop. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. slap I'm you across never, the face, sir, if I I'm glad didn't I'm like you a lot. I'm never being invited back. Have you, we'll uh, bring you pizza. Have you not seen Bloodsport? No, I have not. Universal Soldier? That actually might have been the last great Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. I never saw Universal Soldier. Really? Amazing. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren? Oh I think God. this all the of these of them? movies are things I've never seen. Oh, wow. So oh. I'm going to go down. You, you guys See, are aware of who slap, Jean-Claude Van Damme is. Can you slap Tim, too? I, well, yeah, I've slapped him about yeah, a thousand times. He, okay. he does the splits. Real good. That's oh, every movie that. with Jean-Claude yeah, yeah. Van Damme. He does the splits. He did Bloodsport. But he kicks three Which was amazing, based on a true story, by the way. Frank Dukes was the real character, the real person who went to, I wanted to say, Hong Kong to fight in this underground like like bare knuckle fight called the blood sport. It was like people would bet on it and shit. So he was an American soldier. They decided to go do that. He's being chased by the army because they want him back because he's Frank Dukes. And he does the splits on chairs for no reason. Yeah. And it's great. Then he did a kickboxer. And you were like, that's pretty much the same movie. It's just a guy that has to fight in another underground <laughs> yeah. like kickboxing right. tournament. But we don't give a fuck because we yeah. want more Jean-Claude Van Damme. Then he did like a couple other weird ones in there like Lionheart. Where did like, Street Fighter come this. in? Because that's the, the one I saw. Street Fighter uh, came in right around the time that Raul Julia was like, I just need to get paid. And then unfortunately <laughs> passed away right after that, thus leaving the legacy, the last film in his legacy mm-hmm. being Street Fighter. Uh, which is unfortunate because that movie was based on the game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. And then eventually yeah. they made Street Fighter Legacy. Well, they cast John Chun Li. Yeah. Uh, Kirsten Kirst- 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Smallville. Lana Lang. What up? Yeah. They decided wow, they were something. like, we're gonna cast Street Fighter, and we've got this um, this character in Street Fighter that everyone's familiar with, who is the most American like of of Americans. And let's what better person to play that role than Jean Claude yeah, Van Damme? A Belgian. Let's a put Belgian. A Belgian. Muscles from Brussels. The in muscles the, from Brussels. And Maria is like he does that famous thing where he like flexes and it's just the American flag and you're like, I buy it. I and buy it. It doesn't matter. You're right. Yeah. And then somewhere along the acting. He did Time Cop and Time Cop was time genius. Awesome. He's okay. someone invented a, t- a time machine. And of course, people that runs amok and so they have to have a police force that polices time. And and Again, what better person to get for that than Jean-Claude Van Damme? Naturally. And Jean-Claude Van Damme is, is a time cop. So mm. if anyone breaks the laws of time, he has to go. It's and, the first movie I ever out. saw with self-driving cars. Thing. And I was like, how far-fetched is that? Yeah. Yeah. Never going to happen. It also <laughs> brought in the uh, science, incredibly scientifically accurate uh, theory of, of same matter can't occupy the same space at the same time. Meaning if yeah. I go back in time and see myself and I touch myself, it All will like destroy loose. reality. Yep. Hmm. Nick touching himself usually results in oh! reality. Yeah. Some sort of explosion Some usually happens. Some kind of happens. rip in time, <laughs> like, you happens. know, interdimensional, like, shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Don't touch yourself. Mm. Oh, man. John claude Van Damme was a moment. No matter what time, don't touch yourself. Usually Here's <clears throat> my final one. Okay. And I think it closes out the topic well. Starship 
Troopers. Really? Oh, Never yeah. Never saw Whoa. Starship Troopers. Yeah. It was, not a great movie. No. But it but, has something about it that makes Palmer you want to think that it it's is. Paul yeah. Verhoeven. For it's a Palmer Verhoeven, Palmer it, was, it was okay. Yeah. I Neil remember it wasn't the big deal that there was like co ed showers. I mean, because it's in like junior yeah. high or whatever. But like, there there's was. Some, there's some bare Not Kathy Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Was it Kathy Ireland? No, Someone was in there. It was a big deal. Dina Meyer. Oh, no. Who is Charlie Sheen's ex wife? Denise Richards. Denise Richards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is. She's yeah. also in The World's Not Enough. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, she is. But Terry Hatcher was in World's Not Enough, right? She's in Nuclear Fist. Yes. Yeah. Not enough, right? Yeah. Isn't her name Christmas? is Doctor Christmas. Yeah. 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 That's the Dr. only thing I remember that movie. Christmas. I thought Christmas only came once a year. Yep. Yeah. That was the That's big the uh, punchline at the end. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to say Terry Hatcher was not in World of Not Enough. I think she was in Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, Very yeah. similar. That would have made an excuse. I that would have made a good excuse. I've why I watched that. Yeah. Remember when Gold Knight came out on N64 and then Tomorrow Never Dies came out on PlayStation? And everyone made fun of the PlayStation fans. That was a thing. Well, everyone made fun of the two movies as well because Gold Knight was awesome. Oh, Tomorrow Never Dies actually was a pretty good movie. Not terrible. Back then, no one knew what they were talking about. Michelle Yeoh was dope. There was no internet then. Nope. There was no way to, there was no way to bitch There's about no nothing. To really yeah. complain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can toss us a few bucks and get each and every episode early, along with a bunch of exclusive goodies and perks. If you have no bucks to toss, no big deal. You can head over to youtube.com slash kindoffunny where we post the entire show topic by topic, day by day, until it goes up as one big MP3 and video the following Friday. Gavin. Sir. Ming. Yes. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for having us. Uh, Gavin, where can people keep up with your booths and toys and escapades? Uh, I'm on Twitter at, at <laughs> Gavin Hammond. I'm okay. on Instagram at Gavin Hammond. What was the Instagram stuff. for toys again, too? Because I'm going to go to the Action figure soundproof. Action figure soundproof. All right. <laughs> and then Ming. Uh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Ming Chen 37, M I N G C H E N 37. Watch mm -hmm. Comic Book Man every Sunday night after The Walking Dead. And uh, yeah. And come by, see you at the Secret Stash, right? Yeah, come by the Secret Stash, uh, mm -hmm. right back in New Jersey, only an hour south of New York City. And uh, we'll be there. Me, Mike, Walt, not Brian. He doesn't really work there. So uh, come on by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, screw Brian. Screw Brian. And we'll Johnson. see you kind of funny life three. What's that? Kind of Funny Live 3. Oh, yeah. Kind of Funny Live 3, June 3rd, right here. Hell we'll be back. Yeah. Great. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. What's up, Point Dexter? Click here to subscribe to the channel. Click here to support us on Patreon. Click here to see a playlist of cool videos. And click here for random Kevin fun times. What's he going to put there? Nobody knows. Won't be nudity. It's illegal on YouTube. Or we do it.